All right, guys, I had to do this real quick uh, announcement at the top because we added some big shows that I have to tell you about. Uh, so before we get into the show, here's what it is. June 2nd in Chicago, we added a fourth show um, at the Chicago Theater. It's on sale now. August 15th, we added a second show in Toronto at the Sony Center. That is on sale now. August 17th in Vancouver at the Queen Elizabeth. That second show is going on sale Friday the 19th of April. September 28th, we added a second show in Denver at the Belco. That goes on sale Thursday, April 18th. And in Minneapolis, we added a second show um, October 11th. That goes on sale this Friday the 19th. Additionally, in the UK, the dates there that had withheld tickets for all the pre-sales have now released tickets. So if you weren't able to get tickets, I got a lot of messages about it. You can get tickets now. Uh, they're all at TomSegura.com tomsegura.com slash tour that's my website and i know it well all right that is it now let's get into the show this episode of your mom's house is brought to you by sattva luxury mattress the only online mattress company to provide free delivery setup and mattress removal welcome welcome to your mom's house with tom segura tom segura Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah. I think uh, Obi Wan has sent us a library of stuff. A library of stuff. A library. It's great. It's amazing. Thanks, man. What a talent that Obi Wan is. Yes, I am full of gratitude because <laughs> the so far fifty-one, I think soon to be fifty-five city second half of the Take It Down tour is up and running. Okay, it's all on sale now. TomSegura.com slash tour. I couldn't be more thrilled um, and thankful to be doing this in all the places I'm doing it and um, added like some crazy things, man. I'm going to your homeland. I'm going to Budapest. I can't believe it. I'm going to Paris, Berlin, Ooh. Antwerp, Ooh. Ooh. London. Hello. Oh. I'm going to Dublin. Wow. And I'm also going all over the U.S. I'm doing Canada, Winnipeg, well, Vancouver, Calgary, Toronto, Tron London. London, Ontario. Ontario. Not both. I'm London, doing both. England's. Anyways, they're all on sale now. Thanks very much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to come to your city uh, and and bring the show to you. International jeans. International jeans. It's exciting. Uh, I want to thank everybody who came to. It's too late now for that, isn't it? When does this air? This is coming out next week. Oh, well, thanks for coming to Minneapolis, Tits, anyways. Yeah. Uh, five sold out shows, sold out well in advance. I cannot thank you guys enough. Every show I've done on the road has been sold out in 2019. Killing it, bruh. Which is a miracle, and it's beyond my wildest imagination. So thank you. May 10th and 11th, I'm doing uh, Tempe, Arizona, the Tempe Improv. May 31st through June 1st, Sperm Bank, that's Burbank, mm -hmm. California, Flappers Comedy Club. June 20th through 22nd, Washington, D.C. at the Washington Dick Come Improv. Ticket links are on Christina P. online. And also, if you haven't seen it, Cash Me Outside on Netflix. <laughs> I'm home here now. Check out my two specials, Mother Inferior and The Degenerates. I was eight months pregnant when I did The, de the Degenerates. You did. You almost had so, a ceiling fall on you. I did. It was hot. Very hot. It's fucking unbearably hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, by the time this comes out, yeah, I'm coming to Boston. If you haven't gotten tickets Boston. Yet, oh, and it, guys, if you do your shopping on Amazon, you could go through our banner on your mom's house podcast dot com. You could click on the banner at the bottom of the homepage of your shopping as you normally would. Yeah. Gene, there's so much to talk about. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I have so many things to share. I have so many fun things around the corner. Mm hmm. I can't wait. I've, I'm really excited to do today's show. All right. Let's get into it. <laughs> let's do it. 
like it. This is you drive original. like it, you little tiny pecker. This is so you original. need that. That's your. That is your dick, isn't it? You're proud of your old fucking dick, but it's your car that you. Yeah, can't get it up. Viagra, my ass. <laughs> this shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Dude, you know that like 25 times this weekend I listened to that young Patreon Obi Wan song. I know, I know, it's really the cool good. Guy Club. It's really good. It is. I mean, it's yeah. Uh, young Patreon put it on Spotify, so, so you can. You what can do, what do people have to type in to find it? I think Young is Y U N G, and then Patreon, <laughs> P A T R E O, and it's called Cool Guy Club. So so look up Young yeah. Patreon Cool Guy Club. Yeah, it's it's on there. It's it, tremendous. It it really. it really is. They 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 really. Now Ob One's on that one. He too, made right? the, he produced it. So he produced it, the song. it's an unbeatable team. Those two guys. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Crazy, it's man. such a good song. Yeah. So many revelations, you guys. But first of all, that opening clip. Oh yeah. I mean, why does shit always happen at the Home Depot? Home Depot has a lot of shit going on, and most of it's in the parking lot. I know, kind of is. Yeah. I avoid going to it for that reason because. A, the Home Depot is so enormous. They're just so big and cavernous. You're and always lost. The great irony is that it's the worst. That like they have everything and like no one can help. Nobody, you. no help. You're just on your own. I went there one time looking for something. I think, I don't know, a tool or something. And I, I ran into this guy. I was like, I'm looking for this. He was like, Oh, I, I work in plants. <laughs> I was like, plants. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, there's a whole Not my planetarium, job. whatever it's called. Yeah. He's like. You need a like a bush. You're trying to buy a tree or something. Like, no, man, I want, I want like a hammer. And he's like, that's not my department. <laughs> and then you just look. It looks like an airport hanger behind. I it. know it's tremendous. Or even like one time I tried to buy paint, and oh, I just yeah. I just started crying. I'm like, there's there's too many things to choose from. God forbid you want somebody to mix the color for you. it's it's just. That's why you, like you really <laughs> feels appre- hopeless. That's why you really appreciate uh, awesome. Um, customer service people because they're not everywhere they change your life yeah but I think that's why people go crazy in the parking lot because they've been in the Home Depot for an hour they feel lost they feel alone they feel confused I'll tell you I had I just had a I had an almost meltdown the other day <laughs> in the Home Depot no with FedEx no so I have a FedEx account I'm a I, huge fan of FedEx no I, I am but here's what happened oh no so you know I'm home I press you're home here now i'm home here now i, ha- I press <laughs> two labels i print two labels yeah but i'm in a separate room than the printer so when i go to the printer there's <sighs> nothing there and i realize oh we have a new printer so i have to you know align it with right with the wi-fi and the computer but the so, printers are another ha- like do you think they can just ever just make a printer that you just can you it just, just turn it on and yeah. it just fucking prints <laughs> I know. And they're like, Why? all right, do you have the latest software upgrade? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> no. I just want paper to go through it. So That's so annoying. When I go back to my laptop, the last thing that I printed, the last label is still there after I connect them and I'm able to reprint it. I print it. I'm like, okay, what about the previous one? The one that I closed? I printed two labels. So I'm at the FedEx site and I'm like, okay, there's got to be a way that you can see what you printed and then reprint it, right? Yeah, so that would be nice. I go, I'm like, <laughs> I'll go through the shipping stuff. I go to the uh, tracking. I'm like, oh, it'd probably be in the tracking and then you could pull up the label. I'm not kidding you. I spend half an hour. <sighs> I then Google, I YouTube how to reprint. The format that's in the YouTube video is not the current <laughs> format. So I'm, I'm losing my fucking mind. Yeah. I go to FedEx with the you know the label that I have, I go here you go, and I tell yeah. the guy he goes we can't do that. And I go you can't do what we can't pull up your account. Okay, I, I have a, I go. 
I, I'm, I'm explaining to you my issue. He goes, yeah, yeah, we can't pull yeah. up any of your stuff and we can't do whatever you did on your, we have no access to any of it. Like that's what he leads with. I'm like, so what if I were to log into my, he goes, you can't do this here. You can't, not, nothing you want to do, I could help you with. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, man. It's the worst. And then I'm like, so there's just no way what I'm explaining is, is accessible or possible. I can have you talk to our manager. I'm like, all right. Then I see, I'm like, where's the manager? And then he looks around. He's like, I don't know, but she's an assistant manager. I'm like, all right. Okay. So I go up to her and I, I'm, of course, I, I tell her I'm just super frustrated. But I tell her calmly. I go, you know, I, I just went through this whole You're thing. You're not like stupid I tell her, bitch. No, no, I tell her the whole thing that I just told you. But I go, and I just don't know what she goes. Do you know, you can you log into your account here? And I go, yeah. So I log in and she, and the secret is that the reprint is in is under create a shipment. So like if you were to start a new shipment, you'd go create a shipment. I, I you stop. click that. I'm sweating already. And then the reprint thing is in there. So okay. she's like, it's kind of like counterintuitive, but she's super nice about it. And I go, you just like, you know, relieve my whole stress and, and thank and you so much. Did she give you a hand job? No, she was very nice. Yeah. She actually was like... Uh, she goes, by the way, she finished. She goes, I love your stuff. And I go, oh, thanks a lot. And then as I'm walking out, another guy goes, hey, man, um, you're, you're that comedian. I go, yeah. He goes, you've really gotten better. <gasps> and I go, thanks. And he goes, yeah, you're just kind of way more polished now. I used to listen to you all the time. I was like, okay. <laughs> thanks, Thank man. you for the critique at the Fed, <laughs> FedEx. FedEx. That's wonderful but how fucking stupid is it to have a reprint of something Please stop. under create even hearing you crazy even hearing you say it it makes me it gives me anxiety and yeah. it makes me mad that i'm wasting time in my life even fucking thinking about stuff like that it's pretty bad it's terrible um anyways can i this woman's amazing she's clearly mentally ill right yeah are we gonna go for mental illness or drugs on this one she's definitely not on drugs She's uh, and also she's completely unreasonable for people listening or even watching. She's upset at the car parked next to her saying it's too close. And she's the one that parked out of line. Always. In other words, she parked off of out of the two lines. Yeah. And she's mad at the guy who parked correctly, who's now too close to her because of how she parked. Yeah. Yeah. She's definitely disturbed. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any more of her? There is. Right. Yeah. I mean, she's. Yeah. She's like, you should move <laughs> your car. My fucking car! My daughter has to get in! We won't move his car! I, my daughter has to get in! Move it! <laughs> move you it! Parked it too fucking close. No, you, you did, you, dummy. Yeah, you, 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 you heard you me. And let you me open? let me tell you something about this too. She parked this, too fucking close. This is the difference because this woman really needs to get checked, okay? And if she were a guy she would already have had her ass kicked in her life a number of times yeah. with this yep, attitude. Yep, 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 yep. This is where at least another woman needs to put her in a chokehold or to show her body what it's slammer. like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's she's so she's so entitled and 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 throws this fucking attitude around and and people allow it. There's some guys who would be like, "All right, I'll move my car." And she really just needs a woman yeah, yeah. to throw an elbow but in her mouth. You and I discussed this yesterday is that that's how boys and men resolve conflict is physically. Yeah. Women just don't resolve conflict that way. Well, when you've been checked as a guy, you, 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 don't, you don't go. So what would you do if this were you? You wouldn't even say anything. You'd be like, all right. And you'd well, back out or you what? know, if you're if I was this woman, first of all, it's you know, it takes a, a fraction of a second to realize that she's out of line with how she parked. Yeah. And then to make unreasonable demands on top of that. I mean, as a guy, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not insane. So I would just be like, I know I'd be out. Like, I, maybe I don't want to move my car. Maybe it's humiliating to have to move my car. But knowing if there's another guy there who's like, I didn't do anything wrong. Part of your, your, your DNA wiring as a guy starts to just automatically size up who's telling you. Of course. You know? And yeah, but I'm women don't you, have right like a we, guy fucking is like horse hey dude um your your brain just goes like can this guy fuck me up yeah but that's because you guys that's because you guys are apes and you resolve conflict by hitting each other that's true so women, i'm saying there's a value in that there there's is a value, value in, in physical violence there is there i agree with you no i agree with you yeah 
because you don't start bullshit like this in parking lots because you know some guy's going to beat your right. ass. So there's no exactly. point. Exactly. And then she's around shit. barking. She's fucking 70. I she's know. She's throwing this bullshit around for her whole fucking I life. Know. And that's why I want to be clear. I didn't say a guy should do anything to her. He shouldn't. A woman should kick her ass. I wish women. Are you, so you're advocating that women should start violence with each other? I think sometimes. I think it's good. Yeah. You know? Kinda, yeah. Kind of makes you. Yeah. It, it kind of makes you second guess saying stupid shit yeah. that's that's what it does physical, no, you're right it does well it i'll tell you, you something because like, mm. i don't do this in public for a reason because i've been in fights with i should and say it sucks, right? loosely that i've been beaten up yeah i have not <laughs> successfully won a fight so i know not to flip shit to strangers even almost getting your ass kicked makes you aware uh, of aware physical of, danger of, 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 of watching your stupid fucking mouth yeah you know well she just never been hit so what you're yeah. saying is this bitch needs to get hit couple times you know what i'm saying yeah by a lady i should hit her yeah a lady <laughs> does she do this a lot is she okay no she's fine she's her not fine she's not fine do you see your tire you let's get serious tire. yeah you let's get serious you see the line that you separates these tire. now come over here come over here come back. this is just for fun and then look at this i mean it's just she's out of her fucking mind yeah she's wrong look your tire is right on that white you're line. you need to stay within the lines so do you but look Look, I'm perfectly she, he between is the lines. lines. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually hugging this side a little too much. And then her, see, what's not helping is her daughter with her little panda backpack, a grown ass woman. I know, it's so true. Wearing juvenile. a fucking child's backpack no. is siding with her mom. Well, that you have should, to, Tom. No, you have to. Mm, no. Okay, in, in if your case, mom was doing this nonsense. I'd be like, Mom. No, I've done shit. My mom has done shit like this. So is so my mom. My mom pops off the at the mouth all the time. Of course. She should have gotten her ass kicked years ago. I know. But I, we've all my mom's kids, we've all been like, Mom, what the fuck are you talking about okay. right now? And like that's usually how the situation so someone needs to gets your resolved mom. is that the logical <laughs> person goes, Mom, what the yeah. fuck? Your dad should have hit your mom a little bit more. No, that no, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> Pero estás loca. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, oh, there we go. Fuck you. En español, por favor. Don't call women crazy, fucker. Yeah. You're crazy. It's my mom right Look there, 100%. You little shit, you fucking old bitch. You're driving a car like that, asshole. You're not happy, man. I'm, You're an old fart. I am. You're too old to be driving a car like that. It's too I'm, big for you. I'm in disbelief. Pecker. This is something you drive like you little tiny pecker. This is so you original. need that. That's your. That is your dick, isn't it? You proud of your old fucking dick, but it's your car, that you. Yeah, you can't get it up. Viagra, my ass. You stupid <laughs> shit. Now you're getting off fighting with a woman. No, I'm. I'm not you're fighting. You're getting off fighting with a woman. You. Uh, you stupid She's shit. So insane. I know. It gives me anxiety. Now is this I, Northern I California? Yeah, it looks like it. Is it? I'm only saying this I'm because guessing. she's Asian. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> I would say, yeah, like Marin County. And what are you? What's your? Why are because you? Because she's that? Asian. <laughs> okay. I agree. I agree. Okay. It's not LA. I don't feel like it's Alhambra. Only because or Monterey Park. <laughs> that's where Asians are. <laughs> okay. Although I dated a Chinese guy for uh, four babe, years. They're everywhere. That was. It was. Yeah, but that's where you go for good Chinese food. You don't that's think it's K-Town, they... maybe? No. Because then she'd have an accent. This could be fucking Dallas. It could be anywhere, about? but I just, my my Asian instinct tells me. It's San me, Jose, all right? It is, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's Chino. Oh, picker! I'm not fighting Son at all. Bitch. And on, he's man, gay. He sounds down, gay. So that's what? why I guess Northern California, because he sounds homosexual. What? He sounds like a gay guy. He sounds like a guy. No, he sounds like a gay guy. Does he sound gay to you? Of course. Listen. Yeah. Oh, Tom, Duh. do you think that this guy would beat you up? This guy? Yeah. 100% no. <laughs> no, because he's gay. Now you're getting off fighting with a woman? No, I'm, I'm not you're fighting. You're getting off fighting with a woman, you I'm... little b He's not even aggressive, man. No. He's not aggressive. All right, I, I can't take this anymore. Keep it's going. <laughs> I'm not oh, fighting she's at all. A headache. Go on, man, because I'll take you down, you son of a bitch, anytime. I'm, that's that's threatening, but it's not. Uh, what? See? That correctly. That's threatening, Just, but it's not. He sounds like the B-52s guy. He could be. You know what I would do, though? Because this bitch is about to walk in the Home Depot is just park a little bit closer to her car. No, don't intend. Just, you, always, you know what? You, just move here's like a, a couple inches closer. The difference between Tom and me is that I do not encourage unnecessary conflict. Unnecessary. You love it. You love the Instagram fights. I posted something very controversial yeah. on my account at the Christina P on Instagram. Mm-hmm. 
and you went after bitches like crazy and yeah. i was like i'm out i'm just here to enjoy the ride yeah it was fun <laughs> it's fun that's why we're married i know i was uh cosby team Trasby. i kept having fantasies about knowing that some of them were breaking <laughs> down mentally <laughs> thought about them crying at home yeah okay listen crying I, into fucking armpit hair all right all right listen i have been dying to share this with you yeah okay what is it you gotta pay attention i'm paying i need full attention phones down okay as you know i did this last weekend at the acme comedy club in minneapolis tits and just so people know the reason that things are sometimes there's an intro separated the touring it's kind of wild it's been all and, over we, and we don't ever want to miss a week so we have to record things separately from when right and happens. tomorrow we're it's a lot yeah it's a lot oh something's coming out here okay anyways i did this weekend in minneapolis tits and i had this wonderful opener named ahmed kalaf okay okay he goes by somalian s-o-m-o-l-l-y-a-n on instagram give him a shout out because he's a black guy mm -hmm. and he said i we we're talking about the tried out guy yeah yeah and he goes it's homie on out i go it's not homie on out we've done this before he goes it's homie on out and listen to me because he is talking to black guys who like to fuck and fuck good try it out the audience he's addressing they are black guys and black guys would say homie on out mm -hmm. hoe a man out mm -hmm. i mean hello doesn't that blow your mind right now well, no, I mean, I, I thought that was always one of the theories on, on it. I never thought of it that way, though, that who he's speaking to, they're black men. So therefore, the phrasing he would use would be like, a you know, black man. Oh, man out. Hoe a man out. Mm -hmm. He's more. He's, he's street. You know what I mean? He's trying to like. Oh, man out. Hoe a man, hoe man out. I know. I know. It's it's look, it's. A, I mean, it's. It's a fucking Zapruder film, man. It's. Oh, man out. <laughs> <laughs> study it for generations if only there was some way to confirm what he was saying you know <laughs> i know i know this mystery man but anyway i was blown away by it i thought it was pretty interesting i thought i would just no it's a that. great it's a it, it is a great contribution to the analysis of what is said there i have always been most leaning into either home here now mm -hmm. or home here now it's either ho, I think it's not, it's ho a man out. Home man out. Or I'm, I'm home here now. Now, the reason being he's addressing black guys, but he's also referring to his address and where he's, he lives. He's clearly saying like, this is the address. Yeah. Come over, do these things to me. I'm home here now. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm just saying. It could be, you know, I know the debates go on. I, I get messaged all the time. <laughs> Sometimes when people sign off and they'll go, by the way, it's, it's home me on out. You know what I mean? Like. That'll yes. be their sign off to a message about. To yes, me about it's one of the world's greatest mysteries, mysteries, and what we may never know the truth. But for now, I'm gonna have fun speculating. I like it. I like it. Um, by the way, before we go any further, I, I want to make it clear that we are thrilled to be um, doing this podcast here and in the new space in our studio, so to speak, and. Uh, I want to uh, encourage you, if you have not, to check out the two other podcasts we are currently producing. The Honeydew, Ryan Sickler's podcast, which is fantastic. I just did it. I know. It's out now. Um, audio releases on uh, Mondays. Uh. The video goes up on Tuesdays on, on this YouTube channel. You can look up The Honeydew and download it, subscribe everywhere podcasts are available. And of course, Dr. Drew's podcast, Dr. Drew After Dark, that audio comes out on thursdays and the video is up on fridays on this youtube channel the ymh youtube channel that show has been exploding um wildly popular out of the gate and thank you very much for supporting it i love drew i love uh that his show is doing so well and sickle, and sickle cells, cells what too. a wonderful yeah, show that is yeah well that was just just getting started it's gonna it's gonna get bigger and bigger yes um i just did uh hot ones truth or dab which is their spinoff show. Cool. I think it is about, if, if it's uh, based on the schedule, talking to them um, as, as this podcast comes out, that might be hitting YouTube right then, or maybe it's the week after. Um, I did it with Bertrand 
Um, and the concept, man, it is rough. That one really fucked me up. So when you do hot ones, <laughs> you do progressively hotter wings. Yeah. So you start with one and then, you know what I mean? It's mild. Yes. Gets a little bit spicier and then you build up. Truth or dab is like truth or dare. But if you don't want to tell the truth, the only thing, the only option is you eat a wing with the spiciest <gasps> sauce on it. So you start at a 10. Oh my God, that's great. <sighs> I was crying, and you, sweating. So it sounds like you took a lot of dabs. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, he was asking you things. You're like, I can't fucking answer this well, shit. Well, because you came, I was on the phone with you yesterday, you, or whenever it was, you finished filming it. I was on the road, and you were like, I got a shit. I got to go. I, yeah. I did Sean's new show, and I have to go take a dump. Dude, I had a couple shits in me. Um, it's cool because they do, uh, you do duos. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, they had uh, Tiffany Haddish and Love Kevin Hart Haddish. did one. Love Kevin Hart. Uh, Bert and I, I think there's another one and we're talking about like, be good for like other comedy duos mm. to go into, you know, like, I don't know, Shop would probably do it. Um, oh, he'd be great. Yeah, but like, it's like you do it with like Callen or he's got that other uh, show with the mouse guy. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, um, I don't know, like maybe My Favorite Murder, that's two hosts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, uh, Karen and uh, Georgia, I think's her name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's all these like uh, combos, but it's like, it's a hilarious concept because when you're eating that, you actually get into a delirium. It's like doing shots. Mm. So the further along the show gets, you're so uncomfortable that he asks you something and you might just spit something out. Ugh, well, I'm glad I'm not doing that. No, I mean, that. spit out like, a thought oh 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 you know? yeah I because know you're understand. like you're so uncomfortable you're like <laughs> what a great show thank you sean <laughs> it's really I bet funny. it's fun to watch people really get fun. uncomfortable yeah people love it um anyways so we went to a laker game last night yep and i could not stop licking my chops yeah, it was really really obvious it was and, uh, the white boys at school don't have dicks like this uh, yeah <laughs> You were really into it. <laughs> I was really licking my chops. Um, now here's the deal. Oh, here's your Instagram account. Yeah, you posted a few videos of yeah, us yesterday that's a, at the that's, game. That's with the. Uh, you want to show it? To this people? is with the. Well, that one's yeah. That one's Christina right there. Christina, there's the guys warming up, and then look at Christina, just licking her lips. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> and then Drip Daddy Dollars right there. Check out. <laughs> Stupid. This is uh, this is the Laker girls right there. Yeah, those the Laker girls. And then you turn right there and look at me. <laughs> yeah, Stupid. I was looking at my chops. So yeah. dumb. Look Do you at really? Daddy and right then there. there you are with your ridiculous. With Listen, my, with my Fendi on, my can, Fendi fresh. Can shit. I tell you that my ancestors, my relatives, would be so stoked on your top. Be, yeah. This is a nice top. Told me this is a good jacket. Very nice. Very expensive <laughs> looking jacket. This is you're making every Eastern blocker proud, homie. Yeah, I love Felt this good. look. Felt I love right. it. Hey, man, I'm so excited that you're finally. Remember, we ran into that embracing. dude who was like, "Did you buy that?" <laughs> <I was laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Very nice jacket. Very expensive. <laughs> Looks very nice, Tommy. Good work. Yeah, good thank you. Colors very expensive. <laughs> nice patterns. Nice pattern. Very yeah. good. You need the gold chain. That's what everybody said. You do need a everybody gold chain. said the yeah. gold chain is what's missing, man. Yeah. So we went to the Laker game. Super fun. I was very disappointed, though, because LeBron was not playing last night. Yeah, yeah. He's got some injury. Mm -hmm. And I have to say... And they're just say, resting him because he's not going to... Well, and yeah. first of all, as we all know, I, LeBron's amazing to watch, so I like that. And I feel like he has one of the biggest hogs on the team. Compression what? shorts or not, I feel like I see it moving, swinging, working. What? Yeah. And I was kind of disappointed in how many white guys there were on the court because it was the Utah Jazz. <laughs> yeah, which a lot they, of honkies. By on law, they have to have like seven white guys. What on are you it. talking about? In uh, in Utah, that's a, it's actual law. Why? Because of the population demographics, and they feel like there's a disproportionate number of white guys on the team that they have to have more white guys in their sport. That's racist. It's a little. It's a pretty controversial thing. That's it why should be. That's stupid. It should yeah. be who's ever the best. And now they don't care. There, they're like, no, there's got to be some more white guys. Ew. Same thing. You know, if you look at their college teams, BYU, they have like a lot of white guys. Well, that's terrible. It's terrible, and it's terrible for the fans. It's also completely made up. It's not true. Oh. So. <laughs> you got me. But. But there were a lot of white guys playing last yeah, night. Yeah, I didn't like it. I was it. like, what are these discount tickets? Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Yeah. 
Because you know they're not carrying shit in their pants. That's not why we watch basketball. It's not why you watch basketball. You just care about the dicks? That's it? Of course. Why do you think I like them box seats? I want to get the floor seats next oh, that, time. No, I got to keep you off the floor. Or at least take a little, uh, <laughs> like a saucepan to hold under your mouth <laughs> for all the drool. <laughs> You're going to be like... Oh. I loved it. I I love those Lakers. Yeah. You can't really see junk though. No, you can when LeBron runs. No, you cannot. I can. I got my binox. I look down on there. I bring it in. He was wearing a suit. You couldn't see his suit. I like to look. Dude, he was wearing his suit, but he had those big old clown shoes on. (laughs) Did you see that? He was wearing nice sneakers, but they look like fucking clown shoes. Because of how big his feet are? Hey, what do you think? I, I think they're probably pretty big. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think he has probably big feet. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see. Let's, let's do it. Those fools have the biggest penis. <sighs> Jesus Christ. You know man. what I love so much at the Laker games? It's my favorite thing when they put um, the people in the audience on the big Jumbotron thing. Yeah. And they get to see themselves. He wears a I can watch that all day. Size 15. <sighs> Look at that foot. Well, yeah. I mean, you're a Oof. professional basketball player. Ouch. Feet gonna get fucked up. Mangled. Now. Oof. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the price. That's the cost for being the boss. Right? It is. Yeah. Damn, homie. Oof. Oof. Yeah. How much to put those tootsies in your mouth, Tommy? Uh, oh, 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 I don't even want to. Speaking of tootsies, you, you sat next to some nice tootsies on a plane. You got to bring that up, Blue Band. You're gonna die. Yeah. Again, it's on my Instagram account, the Christina P. Look at it. You're gonna die. I, so I get on first class. Ugh, I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna fucking vomit again. You sat next to you, dude. I was sitting next to this guy. This is in first class. He he comes in all lumbering. You keep saying that you're really letting people know. Well, because people were like, "Oh, that's what you get for being a coach." I'm yeah. like, "Bitch, oh, I right. don't fly coach." And then <laughs> he came in and wheezing, and he had a huge fucking pot belly, like yeah. a booze bag belly, and he yeah. was like, ugh, ugh. and then he sits down next to me, and I see this. So he's wearing a flip flop and it looks like half a compression sock and his feet are just all different colors. The toes are different colors. And then the big toenail is rotting off. Okay. It's got a uh, green gang. It looks like gangrene. How much, how much to put them in your mouth? No, uh, how much? LeBron's or his foot? Yeah. LeBron's all day. Why? Because there's no fungus or like You don't think there's fungus? On LeBron's? Didn't look like it. Really? They look pretty jacked. Well, whose foot would you put in your mouth? This guy or LeBron's? Yeah, LeBron's. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and then he reeks of booze. It's the morning, of course. He orders more alcohol. And then he tells me he's a missionary. And he goes, I'm going. I just came from the ph- Philippines and now I'm flying to Uganda. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I wouldn't with those open sores on your feet. <laughs> you nasty as hell. You should wear some closed toe shoes to Uganda, don't you think? Ugh. Can you believe Ugh. this fool got on a plane like this, bro? Yeah, people are fucking crazy. Open people seething board sores. Flights with Ugh. shoes like that. Um, tank tops. That's disgusting, dude. And armpits out, chest, stomach <laughs> out. Ch- armpit then, flakes everywhere. Just bags of food. <laughs> They're crazy. People are so disrespectful. I mean, I think even, like I tell you, as a city dweller, I think wearing flip flops in the street is inappropriate to begin with. If you live in a major city, dude, you could step on needles, cockroaches, vomit, dog yeah. shit. But to get on a plane with your feet out, it's just, it's not hygienic. It's not cool. It's not cool. To other people, right? No. It's just it's disrespectful. Not. I know people are going to be like, people flip flops. I don't fucking care. It's gross. It's nasty. You nasty, bro. That's airborne, all that nasty shit. I'm sitting yeah. right now. I'm like, oh my God. And he wants to talk to me. Oh, it's so fucking gross. I hate everybody. Don't yeah. you just hate everybody? Well, this is what makes commercial travel, air travel in, in America is just, it's goddamn oh, disgusting. It's like a Greyhound bus now. Yeah. You know who's got it together are the Asians. They do. They have. They fly more respectfully. I'm serious. They do. When I was in, the, I was in uh, <laughs> Macau and Hong Kong, Macau. Singapore. It's just like a different culture of like nobody boards with like, this is going to stink, you know, <laughs> it's got, I, I just pissed on myself, but you know, I got to fly. No one's like that. Well, that's, and yeah. they treat you like really nice in economy. Like uh, I flew uh, Cathay Pacific, which is like the, the big airline. Uh, I think it's Hong Kong's airline. Yeah. And you know, the flight attendants 
treat you. I, we flew economy. Just like civilized people. Really nice. I know. And they served you meals in economy. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's really, really nice. It's yeah. very good. So there was that. Um, oh, I have a submission for you. Um, this is from a guy on Instagram. He DM'd me. It goes by Jibba Hone, uh-huh. J-I-B-B-A-H-O-E-H-N. He suggested a name for women who have sex with comedians. Oh, what is it? Ready? Yeah. A joker poker. That's pretty good. It's, it's That's pretty good. It's, um, it's also kind of G-rated. It's you know? G-rated. It's not as disgusting as a giggle gash like Josh Potter proposed. It's a good one. Giggle gash is good, though. It's not good. It is good. It's nasty. Um, by the way, before, um, the water champ water bottle yeah. sold out. Of course. Um, it's the best. So we reordered it. Should it's back in the store. Uh, Dr. Drew's, you shouldn't prolapse your anus shirt <laughs> also sold very well. Uh, thank you for supporting it. Uh. Um, because the water champ thing is so big, people like it so much. We have water champ. Your mom's house socks. Love so we, it. Uh, we've been doing these socks for about a year. Different logos. There's like bikes one, DJ Dad Mouth, Piss on Me, Beat Me, <laughs> and now Water Champ. These are awesome. So those Piss are in the store. Thank you very much for your support. Those are really cool. Piss um, on me, beat me. Yeah, piss on me, beat me, hold me on out. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This is Christina. Two black dicks. Hello. I'm available. It's Christina right there. That's the Laker game. That's that what was I you. I recorded dun, 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 you. Dun, 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 dun. Um, did you mention the ID? I haven't yet. So. Oh my God. You're gonna. Go, you guys, mommies. You think you're a diehard mommy of the show? You think you love your mom's house? I met a couple this weekend. In, this is insane. In Mama Soda. I've never heard. I could not believe this is real. I know. In Minneapolis, tits. Um, Esan and Isabella Karam is their last name. They are a married couple, and they had their legal middle names changed to be Jeans. And I'm not even kidding. And I said, could you please send me a copy of your ID card? And I looked at it, and I even asked to be verified that this is a real ID card by the um, whatever, the security guy there. Unbelievable. Said, yeah. These two diehard mommies had their middle names legally changed to Jeans. Isn't that bananas? Yeah. So, we got we to gotta get in touch with them. I know they they email me, so I have their email. Okay, yeah. I mean, I feel like we have to send them a swag bag. Uh, at the least, if, if you uh, change <laughs> your name legally to an inside joke from this podcast, <laughs> you get in a shirt, bro. <laughs> That's wild. Do you know what a hassle it is to change your name? Yeah, it takes a it's lot. Be Social a... Security office, DMV. That's, that's devotion. Thank you very much. Yes, um, Isabella. And Eshan. Eshan? Eshan? Eshan. Thank you. Unreal, They're so man. cute. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. That's a first. I've never seen that one on your mom's house. Oh, you know how that lady was about <laughs> to fight? Do you have that other group fight that we were going to... Have you seen this fight? This shit was crazy, man. This was like... Uh, I think it's in a parking garage. And there's all, is this where, I don't know why fights always happen in... Parking. Yeah. Parking areas. I, I'm pretty sure this is a garage. Well, it's infuriating to park and drive. Ay, ay, ay. Right? That is looks it George like a, Perez? Oh, no. <laughs> you mean shotgun? Could be him. <laughs> Men and women. Look at this shit, man. Oh, my God. That chick just barfed on them. She's puking on them. Tom. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? She's she's using it as a weapon. Guys. She's using it as a weapon. Oh my god. Tell me when it's over. How dare you put this in our file? Take this off. You did it. I didn't do it. I yes, you did. It. You asked him to no, show I didn't. it. I didn't. I swear I didn't. You're the worst. Oh, oh god. Tom. Oh, turn it off. Turn it off. God. Tom. I really didn't do that. Yes, you did. I swear I didn't. Ask him. Ask you him. You just asked him to pull up the footage. He showed it to me. Yeah, so you knew that there was barf. I thought that there might be. Oh, my God. 
No, I, I was the one that, that prepped everything, Christina. I'm not listening to you talk. You're now a traitor, Blue Man. It's over, babe. It's not. And I know you guys tricked me. There's going to be another one. It's over. I'm going to put my earbuds in. There's more barfs going to happen. No, it's not. It's yeah, not. huh? No, it's not. It's fine. You swear? Yes, I promise. I won't touch your peener for like a month if you like. I me. double promise. Okay. <sighs> Go no. ahead. Okay. <laughs> What's with the jeans? All right. Um, and by the way, um, a few Not weeks ago, we introduced the idea. Of, we have the sponsor, Manscaped, that has all yes. this great stuff. Yes. Uh, like ball trimmers and ball wipes and it has like body wash, all this stuff. Anyways, they sent me a second kit. They sent two of them. So I discussed with you guys that we would have a little contest amongst the staff here about who gets the second one. But do you guys have an idea for how to do it? I mean, we've been thinking... Uh, you know, whoever has uh, the longest strand of hair that needs manscaping Ugh. is probably a good way to decide who needs it. Right, I Christina? like it. That is the grossest thing I've ever heard. Well, so, how, how else you, should we do it? Are you not embarrassed to show, like, me your longest pubes? Well, is no, because I know I'm going to lose. I know I'm not going <laughs> to get it. <laughs> so are you going to do, are we going to do photos of your pubic area? Is that uh, the idea? Photos, photos of a pubic area? I mean, I thought we were oh, just yet. Yeah, oh. we're gonna yank uh, out a strand. Oh, that is and so And then Tom, foul. as the judge, has to take a measuring tape to it. Oh, and then make sure. Yeah, which, and it'll be double placebo, so okay. you won't know whose is whose. Oh, <laughs> are you sure you want to do this? Oh, it's really disgusting. Well, I think we'll know whose is whose. I mean, one of you is a red-haired Jewish guy. The, do your, does your Judaism show in your pubes? It sure does, Tom. It does. Yeah, oh. he's yeah, a red-haired Jew. Very curly. Okay, and then, <laughs> and then is there is uh, is everyone going to participate? Um, I think it's going to be who's here in this room. It's going to okay. be either me, Chris, or or Potter. And I mean, my money's on Potter. I mean, yeah. and here's yeah. the thing: when can we get our see those pubes, man? We're really excited <laughs> to over here. Yeah, yeah well, we could do it in the break if you want, and okay. we can announce next week. Wow, that'd be really great. <laughs> Do you want to do it on the show though, looking at the pubes and you deciding? Well, I mean, right now we'd have to like stop. They oh, get right, the pubes but you're gonna out. pull your pubes at break, yeah, and then yeah. you're gonna bring the pubes in like right, on the in paper between, or something. In between this week and next week. Next week, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will have uh, pubes that Tom will have personally measured himself. Ah, uh, uh, you got to do it on the show. You have to measure them on the uh, show. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, the audience wants okay, to hear I went your them, assessment. I went the pubes taped to a piece of paper and a ruler yeah it'll so be put a number legit, yeah. uh, tape over it yeah it'll be like person a person b person c yeah, you'll yeah, have yeah. no idea who's is who's. person you see how he didn't gender it yeah i love that well there's three <laughs> persons in there right now you know nice persons um all Man, right and you guys are so nasty you're gonna have to measure their dirty pubes tommy it's cool i have a long tongue Ugh. Whose pubes are you most afraid yeah, of? Yeah, why, wait, why do you, Josh is asking why you think they're all dirty. Dude, because you guys are all nasty. You guys are all nasty. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> You're dudes. So all dudes are just nasty Now I would say, with? I would say of the three of you, the pubes I would want. Yeah, what are the, oh. are in the, pu <laughs> the pubes that you'd <laughs> want to measure? <laughs> most want to measure to least yeah, want yeah, to yeah, measure. Yeah, okay, let's go by hygiene. I'm just going on hygiene. I'm not going to go on anything else other than like my perceived what, what hygiene level we're at. I'm gonna go third place, Potter. Right? Is the nastiest? That's the nastiest. He's nasty. He's the nastiest. Oh right? my god, you guys are so disgusting. Josh just said that he shampoos his dick and is very offended. <laughs> <laughs> very offended that you think he's the dirtiest. I bet Josh washes jo his dick. Well, because he gets, he actually gets. He's light. sticking it in everywhere. Yeah, I know, these days. but that doesn't mean anything sometimes. Okay, so number two, I'm gonna go with you, Blue Band. Okay. And then first place is Chris. He's the cleanest. I think Chris is the cleanest. <laughs> really? He's real happy about that. Well, I've I've caught whiffs of him and he smells nice. Really? I haven't smelled you, you two. I've not smelled you two, so I don't know. Well, they're both okay. smoke machines too. Oh, that's what it, yeah. yeah that's Josh what. smokes way more than me though, so he definitely smells worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll agree on that. The cigarettes <laughs> make you smell, yeah. He said I don't smoke with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Has he come yet? Has Josh come yet? Yeah. Josh, have you come yet? No. He says no. <laughs> God. <laughs> Nothing has helped at all? Do you guys want an update? Should he be in yeah. the same? Yeah. Let's hear What's it. What's that? Should, do you guys yeah. want sure. an update? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. because last time we spoke, Josh had mentioned like a trauma that he remembered. What? Yeah. And I, I we need some more clarification. Josh, remember you mentioned a trauma thing? Yeah, no, I... Uh... 
had a revelation with Dr. Drew. This just happened in that conversation with him? Yeah, he came up, he made me realize something. What's okay. that? Uh, since I was born premature, I was left in an incubator for a long time, and apparently I have abandonment issues mm. stemming from that. From that? Yeah. I don't I remember it. That. But he said that's the that. worst kind of abandonment issues. Yeah. Is is being a premature? No, is that I don't remember it or it oh, just really? put me on this trajectory apparently. But can anyone remember? You know And he me? also said that uh my uh propensity to do opioids in my early days might have stunted my come forever. <laughs> Not to wow. spoil the episode. Wow. Wait a Wait. minute, though. Can I ask you something? Yeah. What opioids were you into? Uh, Percocets. And you were doing them a lot? Yeah. When I had eye surgery, I got pretty into those. Yeah. And that can f- ruin the functioning yeah, of Yeah, because it's just, uh, you don't have that s- satisfaction ever again. It dulls everything. What about, wow. has, has the- um, Real uplifting stuff, he told me. <laughs> 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 has, Made has, me hopeful. What about the, um, you know, the goal, <laughs> the the theory that we were kind of... Oh, he uh, he did prescribe me weird sex. He said, I have to have as much and more weird sex. Really? Yeah, so that no. was the best thing I ever heard from a doctor. Hell. What do you mean? He's like, he's like, that might be the key to this all? Yeah. Like, stop your standard missionary shit. Yeah, he's like, why waste time with that kind of like, you know, vaginal shit, yeah. right? Oh, vaginal. So Let's you, get into something. No, he didn't say the specifics. Uh, okay. He just said, try some weirder shit. Yeah. Which okay. I'm completely on board with, by the way. And there's got to be plenty of hoes out there that are on board with it, too. I mean, oh, yeah. have I would those hope so. DMs coming in. They're still coming here and there. You know, I, uh, I'm i p- putting pins on the map for the Make Josh Come Tour 2020. <laughs> are we Are we going to sign? We're going to set that thing up? We got to, dude. I mean, I mean the Melrose show. Daddy's a, D is getting yeah. itchy over here. And it was yeah. great, right? The Melrose show was great. It was fun. Thank you for coming, by the way, if you came to that. Um, that was so a lot of fun. Maybe we need to, yeah, we need to stay, make job to come to her. Has the, the, the theory that the smoke show w- is the key to it all? I think, are we leaning into that? Yeah, of course. I mean, it couldn't hurt. Yeah. You know, it's Especially not like a troll is the remedy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Dr. Drew definitely didn't say that shit. Wait, when, let me ask you a question, Josh. Yeah. When a doctor gives you medicine what does he do he blank medicine he prescribes he what prescribes prescribes is that wrong what prescribes what's oh, he said prescribes he he what say it again <laughs> prescribes <laughs> oh prescribes is this one wrong too <laughs> yeah it's wrong what is it it's prescribe prescribe <laughs> no it's not <laughs> yes <laughs> it's prescribed <laughs> Prescribe. prescribe. Yeah, prescribe. Yes. He, d- he doesn't retarded. prescribe. No, it's not prescribe. Prescribe. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wrong? Well, it's elementary. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, per- it's yeah, not prescribe. Yeah. It's per- elementary school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not that. Yeah, it's prescribe. Yeah, prescribe. prescribe. Even when it's sex. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So now you have to just bang a bunch of sluts. Yeah, we just gotta try some stuff out. Yeah, try it out. Yeah. So uh, I'm down for more reps, more experimentation. I'm up for it all. Okay. So 2020, I'm coming to your town, and and hopefully I'm coming in your town. (laughs) Elementary. It is elementary. Um, all right, let's set up this episode. So okay. this was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, this is Rhett and Link. Oh, they're so sweet. If you guys don't know, these guys have a YouTube channel that they have multiple YouTube channels. Actually, they like downplayed how many YouTube channels they. They're like, yeah, yeah, we got a couple, and uh, one of them has 15 million subscribers. Another one has like, oh, just like five. Um, and a few more. These are like OG YouTube guys who could not be nicer. Oh my god! Um, we've I found out in the, during this interview that even some of the content that they created, we actually played on this show as funny content. Maybe I eight that. years ago, very early days of yeah, your mom's house, because of like how funny the the stuff was there. Anyway, they're super funny. They're super talented. They're super successful, and they are very open and accessible and i think it's a fascinating like i'm always fascinated by successful people and and what they do and i love the business of it all and learning 
And these guys were so open to, you know, telling the story of it. I just thought it was a fascinating yeah, talk with Yeah, they them. were a great interview. And I also like that we kind of got to see a little hidden dynamic between oh, Lent yeah. and Link. So if you yes, pay attention, did. guys, uh, we got to see a little marital spat, which and is fun. And let's just say that one of them's a little more ride or die than the other. <laughs> Enjoy Rhett and Link. Your mom's house will be right back. If you love hardcore porn, our next guests don't need any introduction. Uh, uh, now, the um, the founders of YouTube, Rhett and Link, are here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was quite a swing. I know. I don't I know like where to that. go with it. I like no, it. No, you guys have built... I, I'm like endlessly... I think we all are endlessly fascinated by non-traditional... Um, like explosive careers in entertainment that aren't like I'm on a TV show, right? I'm in a movie. And you guys have built this unbelievable YouTube following. It's an empire. Yeah, Jeez. you guys built an empire, and it's like it's. I mean, it's fascinating. I just want to know. I mean, first of all, you guys are North Carolinians, right? Yeah, and you know, I, born and raised. I went to school in North Carolina, Hickory, so, man, Hickory, North Carolina. I mean, that's man. as North Carolina as North Carolina gets. I mean, it really is. <laughs> is Do you that love furniture? Because really? we're the furniture capital. <laughs> I well, love some good furniture. Is that where the I, big chair is? The, I don't know. If, no, the big chair is not there. But they used to swing that furniture capital thing around like they would not let you forget <laughs> it. When you were there, you're like, this place sucks. And they're like, it's furniture capital. Like, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll forget that. Did, was, so have you gotten over furniture since you've left? Or? <laughs> nah, man, I'm addicted. Look at this <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love Surrounded furniture. Surrounded by wood. That is I a love big it. desk, man. I love it, man. Um, is that Hickory? This is not Hickory. <laughs> Wait, we where are you from it. in North Carolina? A uh, little town called Bowie's Creek. What is a little town? Yeah. How many people? A thousand people. Oh, my God. A thousand yeah. people when school's not in session. Campbell Whoa. University, another small school. Where's Bowie's Creek? Uh, uh, in between Raleigh and Fayetteville. In, okay. Because my uh, one of my good friends is from uh, Randleman. You know, Randleman? You, Randleman? Yeah, Randolph <laughs> County. <laughs> is, uh, that, that, that's towards the mountains too, right? Ran, well, Randleman's uh, out near, out towards Raleigh. It's where, uh, what's his name? The King is from. Uh, what's the, uh, uh, Petty. Petty's from oh, Randleman. Richard Petty. Yeah, Richard, Richard Petty. Petty. He's from Randleman, North Carolina. Oh, okay. okay. That's how Casey says <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you guys are from the same place, right? Because you grow up together yeah. since yeah. first yeah. grade. Mm-hmm. You've been best friends. Yeah, yeah. I, I was born and raised there, and Rep moved uh, there for first grade. Wow, so that's that's when this mm-hmm. started, Heck, and this is where this, this ends. Is ridiculous. This is it. <laughs> yeah, this is circle. It's clearly on a decline that you're here, yeah, but I'm right. saying, <laughs> um, but like you guys, so you guys are just buds, like in school, and yeah, yeah, like. R- you know, doing the whole biking around town. Hey, yeah. let's, w- we lived on the opposite sides of town, which wasn't that far. So it was like, all right, we would meet at the cemetery in, okay. the, in the middle of our bike routes. <laughs> and then we would, you know, pick a way to go, depending on. After desecrating some graves. <laughs> you guys have to know some scandalous shit about each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look how look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, they definitely do. <laughs> All right, see, I knew you were going to rip us apart. No, <laughs> no. I'm not ripping you apart. I'm just we'll saying you know, each other. you know where he buried the bodies, right? Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. for sure. No. Uh, we didn't actually desecrate any bodies. <laughs> you don't have to desecrate it to bury it. That's true. Uh, I just want to clarify that. That's true. <laughs> well, we My did, man knows what to do with a dead body. We right. did jump over a... Uh, a dead cow that had died in the midst of childbirth. Oh. No. <laughs> I just want to bring it down wow. for everybody. Yeah. We would frequent a cow pasture. Yeah. And just, I, I don't know who's who the farmer was or anything, but we would go there and we would chase the cows, like on foot. It's a very exhilarating feeling to have cows scatter out in front of you. I yeah. don't know if, you know, if you've City had, the, if you've had the privilege of doing no, that. No, I've never even milked a cow. I mean, I really? grew up here in the, in the San Fernando Valley. We've, we've milked <laughs> you should a cow definitely do it. directly I know, I into our to. mouths. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? It's For real? real? Yes. Yeah, and it, it feels right. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it when you're doing right. it, you're like, this is definitely what I should be doing. It's, right. Right. it's warm, right? It's all warm. It's yeah. warm. It's yeah. warm. It's not... Yeah. It's unpasteurized. So what does that taste like? Unhomogenized. Yeah. It tastes like milk. Different. Yeah. Does it taste it different? It tastes different. Yeah. Well, it's, the squirt is so small. It's it's just that it you can't really get a, a, more than a mouthful. Of it. <laughs> does it feel wholesome or kinky? Because it kind of, I don't a little, know. A little both. It feels like yeah. where wholesome yeah. meets kinky. Yeah. yeah you know? I can right. see that. Yeah. Lips yeah. on the udder. That's the wholesome <laughs> I, I meets did, kinky. Well, I didn't put my yeah. lips on it. Yeah. It was, kinda, uh. it was more of a... I mean, it's Wait, more video. So you put your lips up to it, and you're like... Yeah, I mean, it's more video, you know? It wasn't <laughs> yeah. like, hey, let's... Th- 
Oh, it I was wanna, for a video. It was. Yeah, for this a, is yeah, much yeah, later. Yeah. I thought that's how I go to sleep, man. I just, <laughs> I just go out to the barn. And <laughs> I just want to clarify. Yeah, but when we were chasing cows, we weren't doing it in order to then milk them <laughs> yeah, right. directly into oh. our mouths. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. Is, that was a different. That was time. a yeah, different. Gotcha. As adults. Wait, so you guys have been friends for forever, like your entire life, basically. Yeah. Have you ever had the kind of fights where you don't talk for like months? Like, no. No, you've never no, gone we through. Fight, I mean, we fight all the time. Do you? Oh yeah. What do you guys fight? Do you fight about like content or just we can, definitely? Yeah, we have we have like the way we approach things creatively um, is kind of our strength and weakness in in our relationship. So, mm. uh, in that, I I kind of try to move things forward. He tries to finish them, and so that's kind of, we're kind of constantly battling right uh, with that. But and then we just I mean it's it's more like an old married couple or brothers in that sure. You guys are married too. Just you, like you you're married. Just, yeah, yeah. All, all the things that uh, a normal person might find endearing about Link, I find annoying and vice versa. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, let's right. emphasize the vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let get lost. I mean, we also fight about. I mean, I'm the one. I get my feelings get hurt. So uh -huh. I'm the feelings get hurt guy. Yeah. Well, maybe my feelings get hurt and I just, you know, I don't show it. Well, I. Oh, that's interesting. True. But I would just say that's a gracious way of maybe saying. Maybe I don't wear my emotions on my sleeve. Can you You're, can you're you the tell? asshole who hurts my feelings guy. Oh, okay. Is how there I'm really, go. is what I'm really trying to oh, say. I'm totally here. starting to figure out this I dynamic. I love it. Thing. But can you like tell that. when he's hurt, even though he doesn't have to say it? No. No. Oh. So you don't. You, I don't. you know when I he's hurt. I think it's that big of a problem. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. For him. big a problem oh, him, to, be, yeah. to express emotion and. Yeah. I'm yeah. in therapy. Yeah. So are we aggressive. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Because, because I think that being able to, you first, you have to be able to, to feel, like my therapist asked me things like, so what do you feel? And I'm like, mm, feel. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Then what do I feel? And then he's like, but where, like, he, I, where do you feel it? And I'm like, this is getting weird. Yeah. I feel it right here. <laughs> yeah. You know? And so, yeah. So I could see how it would be difficult if you were interacting with me to know that I was having an issue. Sure. Without, without me saying it. But isn't directly. that a big deal that you're actually kind of addressing it and talking about it? Well, according it? to yeah. my wife, it's a really big deal. Oh, I'm sure I she loves She's it. <laughs> super stoked about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. And I do think it's, I mean, we've talked about, well, you guys understand this. We, we've talked about anytime we start thinking about it, something we're going to do, a conversation we're going to have, even recently talking about, let's do something where we see a, um, like a, uh, a couple's therapist, but for our friendship, not that there's, it's falling apart, but that, because we actually said, wouldn't this be a great podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, cause you have this tendency to want to monetize every, yeah. every conversation. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, that, again, that was, that was my idea. Well, that's why I said. But then we. you were like, "I know I'm not trying to take credit for the idea. I'm just saying that we ended up deciding it, it wasn't a good idea, right? Well, you I don't think know it, what it actually is. Gonna I think come it out. could be a good idea at some point, but you know, once you know, what's I have gonna to come I out. have to learn what body part is feeling what before I can have that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would know how to answer that. Like what what body part? Because yeah, you need to be in therapy when I'm as well. Feeling? Do you? Ooh, do will you, you go have, to therapy? Would you go? Oh yeah, definitely. Independently. Yeah, I, I don't want to go to the same therapist. No, it's no, a bad idea. No, you shouldn't. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, of course not. So I'm not no. going to do that because I've already turned him against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, for sure doing that. <laughs> exactly. I got to have somebody on it. my side. It's like we're gonna each, yeah we're gonna have like can you have a therapy battle where you're like. You bring your therapist. You each bring your therapist. <laughs> you should. Do you guys a, have different now, therapists? That's yeah. a video I would click a few times to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you have your th like Rhett and Link's right. therapists are like, oh. man, your guy's a dick. <laughs> I would love great. that. This idea. is a good idea. Yeah, this is good. Uh, I would watch that. I want in. Yeah. I want in on this action, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, the cow was pregnant. And so um, it was bloated. and the, But the uh, calf had made it halfway out. Uh, I mean, it was guys. Like, we, I didn't we, want to not go back to yeah, this. Yeah, I, I don't want to hear no, it. This no, is terrible. Because we went up to it and we just like stood there and looked at it. Oh my God. It was like, it's one of the most <laughs> memorable moments of our childhood. Yeah. Oh, is that really? right? Because we just like stood there and then. There we go. I'm sorry. We, we were like, we got to. Get you this feel, thing in my mouth, man. When you encounter something like that, you feel the need to like say meaningful things. Yeah. yeah. And so I don't, I don't remember what we said, but we said some things that were meaningful to 12-year-olds or however old we were. 
And then one of us said, you think we can jump over it? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a boy, little yeah, boy. It is. We yeah, started yeah, yeah. jumping over it. Yeah. Good it's for awesome. you. Yeah. Big risk, you know? Yeah. If you, if you can't, it's, that's a big mess. Yeah. Right. It, 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 it looked like it. it was explosive. Like yeah. It was, it was ready to go at any moment. Do you both still go back to Carolina? <laughs> All the families there. Every, er, everyone everyone there. there. Maybe once. Uh, it's, it's almost, it's just once a year now though. Like sometimes twice, usually just once. Yeah. It's kind it's of kind a of slow become like a, a holiday thing at this point. It is. Yeah. And um, so when you guys, did you guys, you went to high school together too? Yeah. Oh, and, what about, and college. And college? College roommates. What? NC State. What? Yeah. The wolf pack. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I've never lived alone because, um, you know, I moved out of the house into the college dorm with him and then uh, got engaged and married right out of college. So I moved out of our apartment into- Holy uh, shit. Like a house with my wife. So it's like- I never, I've, I've never experienced that living by myself. It's great. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> I didn't either. It's the best. You were an only child, though. I was oh, an, I was oh, so, oh, yeah, you but need my mom therapy, lived there, yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> she was gone yeah. a lot, though. Your mom. So, were you, were you a latchkey kid? <laughs> uh, a little bit, yeah. A, a I guess only so. child. It wasn't physically a latch. What is a what is? Phys- it means you have a key to your own home, oh, and then latch. after school, yeah. you you just let yourself if in. My mom kept me in like a cellar. Yeah, then yes. would have a latch. Right. That's why I don't know what it's called latch kid. Yeah. Latchkey kids are often like that, or yeah, or they're they're prisoners of uh, yeah. kidnappings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. go I could go and come as I pleased. Yeah. Um, That's kind of cool. Right? Yeah. It was it was all right. So I, wait, tell me about so when you guys graduate, do you have the aspirations, the goals of, of what you do now or not at all? No, there was no point of reference for it. So it, rewinding a little bit in high school, we we both had this idea that we wanted to go to film school. Right. And so we kind of just did things in, it, we weren't going to, we were going to make a decision together. There's we, that great one in Carolina, right? Yeah, the Carolina it, School yeah, of the Arts. Right. Is it, right? Yeah. But like, we didn't have, we didn't even know about that. Like we just didn't, you yeah. know, it was just a different time. You but know? we were those guys with the video camera, like doing the school project sure. and like stuff like that. But, so. but this is kind of pre, like, when is the internet? Sorry. When, oh, yeah. when does this that? Was, this was, we graduated from high school in 96. So okay. this was, you know, early nineties. Oh, okay. We're close to, I graduated in um, 94. Okay. <laughs> 97. So okay. young guy. Whatever. Oh. Anyways. And so I told my dad, I was like, we're thinking about going to film school. And he was like, well, I'm not going to pay for that. No, <laughs> of course. Just, Cause he had no point of reference either. Sure. It, it, he's all our parents are like super supportive at this point. And my dad would have been a stand up if he wasn't a law professor. I mean, he's, yeah. he, he, that's his, his, his audience at this, at this point. But he, uh, he, was, he just expected us to do something normal. So we both were good at math. And so, and some friends were going to NC State. If you go to NC State, you do engineering if you're good at math. So we both got engineering degrees. Right, what? I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? And then yeah. did that. Because yeah. that's. So you let, when you graduated, you went, got engineering jobs? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was I was a civil engineer. I designed like um, drainage systems for power plants. What? <laughs> I have a degree in philosophy. Would you say? <laughs> I feel better about so your success knowing how smart you. Are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, talking about it makes me feel worse. You really? Know, it's like I, four years of calculus. Oh you know my that, god! But do you know how to make? How many Comedy engineers videos? engineers out there want to murder you? Yeah. Like they're, they're like, I studied all this shit, and here I yeah. am fucking figuring out drainage actually, systems. Actually doing it? Yeah, and then yeah. these two dicks make videos. It's like, they're so upset. Eating tacos and shit. <laughs> okay, I feel good yeah, now. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Dude, Thank I, you I don't even know what calculus is. Like, I didn't even I've make failed. it that Here's far. how many math classes I failed. <laughs> I'm not serious. I'm not kidding. I got to, I, I moved my freshman year of high school. We moved down to Florida, Vero Beach, and I went to... I, they threw me into whatever the it was algebra one yeah I failed like f f f like they're <laughs> like this is you're the worst student <laughs> then they next year i took geometry and i actually got a b and i was like maybe i'm good at math uh, yeah and then junior year they're like well you failed algebra one you got to take it again right i took algebra one twice as, as well and i was failing straight up and one, <laughs> and the math teacher was also an assistant football coach he's like i'll give you a d <laughs> I'm like, I'll hook you up with a D. And then uh, oh, freshman year in good. college, they had like a remit. Like they have to take one math class right. for this track. I failed it. 
And then senior year of college, they're like, the only way you can graduate college from Lenore Ryan is to take that remedial math class again. So I was a senior with all freshmen. Oh, wow. And the, the guy was like, you're so bad. You're the worst student I've ever had. <laughs> and I saw he had a magazine about boats. <laughs> on his desk oh, and I was like, I love boats. Yeah. And he was like, oh really? And I started made talking about boat boat. I made a boat connection. I started reading about boats, talking about boats. <laughs> he gave me a C. Oh my God. Oh, oh wow. But I would stay after class and be like, you see that new uh, 20 foot super sport that came out? Like just talk to him about boat. He was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Just connected yeah. on that and that's, that's how he passed that's it. And we're talking like strategy. ski boats. Finding that yeah. You're not talking professor. about like sailboats no, in no. this area. Just motor like. Yeah, you're you talking know, about like uh, what do they call that? Inboard? And not, like, yeah, all, yeah, oh, yeah, just like yeah. motorboats. But that's a good life skill. Like, that's the kind of stuff I want to teach our children. Be dumb, but know how to talk that's to people. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Because that's a, that's <laughs> better in life, right? That's you know, the yeah. shit that you're going to use. It's a more useful skill, yeah. That and I encourage a little bit of lying. You should lie in your teen years as well to your right. parents. I'm going to <laughs> yeah. a movie when you're really making out with your boyfriend. Like, right. That yeah. kind of stuff. You got to lie to your boss. Right. Yes. Or little things, not big things. Right. Not to the IRS and stuff <laughs> like that, but yeah. a little, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> no, it's true. Little See, there's, I, a lot, there's a lot of loopholes. But look like what you did. You yeah, kind right. of manipulated uh, your teacher. No, I totally did. Yeah, because also good. because I had no out. Because I was like, if I don't do this, like, good. I'm gonna not graduate. And, and now you you know about boats. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, true. A very important skill. More than that, yeah. you were like hanging out on the weekends on that dude's boat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you and him were like going kneeboarding or That's something. That's right. No, no, I know. I know yeah, all what was about. up with that dude? He was he was kind of weird. Hmm. He was. Did He's you guys sleep odd. in the same bed? Just show your bed. I had all kinds of teachers that just liked me. <laughs> yeah. Like they uh -huh. g genuinely liked right. me. And only in the subjects that I was horrible at. <laughs> like <laughs> oh, yeah. chemistry. The guy was like, God. He's like, do you really not get this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. You're the dumbest student yeah. I've ever had. Yeah. But you're nice and you're yeah, handsome. Yeah, so he was just like into it. Yeah. You were attractive. Yeah, yeah. He was like, you yeah. are pretty cute though. Yeah. You know. <laughs> How about a mouth kiss? I kissed him. Yeah. <laughs> Before I forget, you guys and I, we're both a day, we're a day apart. We're doing the Nashville Comedy Festival oh, together. Oh, yeah. That's you guys, right. You guys are April 9th. I'm April 10th. We're both at the Ryman, uh, and yeah. there are no tickets available. Oh. So oh, you geez. fucked up. Have you have you done anything in the Ryman? We have not. I've this never like... I've never done it. I heard it's an, a beautiful space, yeah. and uh, people, a lot of friends have done uh, played there, and they said right. it's uh, like an awesome, awesome yeah. venue. And, what uh, do you guys do in your live show, by the way? It's uh, comedy music. So oh, okay. Two stools, a guitar, lots of songs. I mean, that's the first thing we did on YouTube where we put the funny songs that we had written over the previous years. But, but we, you're doing this we like... We started putting those on YouTube. You're doing YouTube that... YouTube existed. Uh, but you're, engin like you're working as engineers during the day? Yeah. We, we, we would get together like once a week, um, one night a week, and like write together. And then we were, we were, cause in college we were, you know, yeah, we did the video thing, but then we also did the, Hey, we wrote a funny song guys. Let, sit on the couch. We're going to play it for you. Kind of thing. So but we, it's like, it's a hobby. It's yeah. like, Oh, this is fun. Right. Like, yeah. And then, yeah. We, and so we started doing some like, uh, small college stuff and like performing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And, th but so then we created our website. Mm -hmm. This is like, Oh, three. So we were like, oh, we need to create create a website so that we, we and made YouTube's these. like 05, right? Am I wrong? Or? Yeah, and we got in 06. Damn. Because okay. like very few people got in 05. That's when it like started like in the summer yeah. of 05. Uh, but we were, so we like were putting these music videos on our website so people who saw us live could see the videos. But then people started taking like, so we did that for a couple of years, not really going anywhere. And then people started taking those videos and downloading them from the website because it was back in the day you had to like host your own video, like using a, oh. your own server. Oh, really? And if people had QuickTime Pro, they could just I remember right click on the yeah. video and yeah. download it to yeah. their own. And they were taking it, downloading it, and then uploading it to YouTube. And we were but like, is that helping in a way? Like well, because it's it sharing did. it, right? Yeah, yeah oh, because yeah. We, hundreds of people had seen our videos on our website. Right. And then somebody uploaded, uh, we, we did this, our, our kids were really young. Like my son was a couple months old, probably, and 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 his daughter was like a year. We did a parody of MTV's "Pimp My Ride," "Pimp mm -hmm. My Stroller," basically just uh -huh. like completely cute. tricked out this stroller. And somebody took that and uploaded it to YouTube, and it got like a thousand views in a week or something. And you guys were like, and "Whoa!" We were like, "Whoa! This is crazy." That's way <laughs> way bigger than any place we've ever really? played. Um, and so we started doing it intentionally in '06, and then in '07 we started it as a business. 
Wow. And then is that when you realize, is that when you stop working yeah. engineering jobs? Yeah. So, so 07, you're ready to, to like make the leap. Yeah. We, yeah. I can't remember the first, what the first paying gig was, but we essentially started making, we, we would, this is before you could make money off of YouTube with ads. Cause it, when it started, there were no ads. Mm -hmm. Um, and before Google bought it and everything. So what we would do is we would make phone calls. Like we wrote a song about the game Cornhole. You're uh -huh. from the Midwest. You know right, I cornhole. know Cornhole, of course. So we wrote like this sort of country song about Cornhole. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were like, surely some Cornhole company <laughs> out there would sponsor this thing. So we, like, we, would call, we would go on a website that sold Cornhole equipment and like call the number. And like one was like this mom who was like running the business out of her garage. And she was like, I just don't have any money. <laughs> and then we like, but then we, we were like, really? You sell <laughs> cornhole equipment on the internet. <laughs> but we found these other, these other guys who were like three guys about our age who were starting this new business in like Ohio. And they were really excited about it. They loved the idea of like doing some kind of like viral marketing. Mm -hmm. And so like we, with the help of my dad, I like wrote up this contract. We had no idea. Like we were like, maybe we should just say we get paid. I think what we said, was we're like, we want $2,000 to make the video. And then if you could give us $20 for every thousand views after that. Yeah. For two years. And the thing ended up getting like two or three million views. Oh what? my God. <laughs> we had, you know, we had no idea what we were doing. You sued them, right? You just fucking took <laughs> yeah. them down. Wow. And Destroy their lives. Like you signed that fucking shit. Yeah. I mean, I think they, they, they paid us. They, they paid did. you for they that? Yeah. yeah. What? They did. Wow. But I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it, it also benefited them in a great oh, way. Oh yeah, they, they were made, like they super made some happy. good cornhole boards. Uh, we ended up doing it. We AJJ did, Cornhole, they're still paying us. We did a- <laughs> Which camera do I look into? <laughs> AJJCornhole.com. <laughs> I don't even know if that website exists Forget anymore. Forget my ignorant, I don't know what cornhole, I mean, I know what you, cornholing you, you've is. Seen, I don't you've know seen it. Right, you, you, but you've seen the game with the, the big- It's like a tilted board. board. And you throw the bean bag onto oh, it. Oh yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. There's another name for it. Okay. I, I think but it's the real OGs. I think beanbag toss. Beanbag is what, toss. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not. A, it's got corn in the bag. Yeah, and it's that gives it that that right. Gotcha. Whoosh, yes. When it right. hits the board, you gotcha. like. It makes you want to take another swig of your beer because it is <laughs> what we believed at the time to be the next Olympic sport <laughs> and the only one where you could drink beer because because we didn't know about the shimmy shimmy game. What's that? Oh shuffleboard? yeah, shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. No, the Olympic. No, the curling. 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 That's, yeah, that's yeah. I think you can drink a beer shimmy. while doing that too. Oh, for sure. Now, wait, when you make that cornhole video, yeah, and it, and it starts to take off, are you like, "Where this is it? That we did the right. Like, this is what we should be doing." Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like we this, started do we started doing that with other other products. We would just call and you just randomly just cold call people. Yeah. And yeah. and now you had some a reference to be like, check these out, right? Right. Like, right. Yeah. Uh, and then in 08, uh, this advertising, advertising agency called and they wanted to, it's Alka-Seltzer. They represented Alka-Seltzer and they wanted us to do like a bunch of food themed videos. And they had originally, they had talked to the Sklar brothers about doing this. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think they probably, they were probably smart enough to like charge Price real money for it. Uh -huh. Um, we were desperate and we were like. But it ended up, I mean, it was, a, it, I don't, again, I don't remember what the, the, the price was, but it was not a lot to make 21 videos over the course of the summer. And they were going to like take us in this RV around the U.S. And we were going to like show up at a place and create something. Yeah. Um, and so. Yeah, I remember the first day of that. You guys undercut shoot. the Sklars. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, Hilarious. We, did. <laughs> we met them after that and yeah. uh, they didn't seem to care. So they didn't get that <laughs> job. They were cool with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I remember the first day when we showed up on location and they're like, all right, here's your RV. And I'm like, damn, they got a nice RV. Right. And it's like the whole team is lined up out there and there's like Canadian riders that they flew in. And it was probably eight or nine people lined up and they're like, all right, here's the RV. And we're like, okay, let's go. And we start getting on the RV and we turn around and they're like standing there. And we're like, okay, we're ready. And they're like, yeah, go. And they had just given us the RV and then they all got in like a 16 passenger van and <laughs> followed us around the country. Really? And we yeah, felt horrible. We felt really guilty. Like we had, I mean, now I'd be like, yeah, you can't get in my <laughs> RV. <laughs> but then I was like naive and 
You know, they, all the money that they didn't spend on us, they spent on like our on RV. RV. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. And Coors Light. They kept giving us Coors Light. You can't Coors, drink Coors Light. I can't Light. drink Coors Light to this day because it just... When you're in the back of an RV. RV. Uh, oh, yeah. No good. Nasty. Like they yeah, would open like the this. door to the RV and we wouldn't know where we were. I mean, we didn't drink that much Coors Light, but I mean, you'd get disoriented. It's kind of yeah. like, probably like just, you know, traveling, you know, doing your gigs or whatever. At some point you're like, I don't exactly know where I'm at. Yeah. So we, the they'd open the door and be like, well, uh, we're in Maine. You got six hours, make a video. God. Damn. And then they would shut the door and we, they'd open it again. This is what it feels like now in retrospect. It was like, we were in somewhere in the Midwest. And it was like, you're at a board game convention. We got you passes. Like the, Go in there and make a video. Well, it was like a, it was like, it was like a, a role playing game. Role playing game Role convention. Playing so would you guys just brainstorm the whole way to the next yeah. place and try, yeah. To, yeah. try and, to come and up with something? We would like we would work something out. Like for that, it was we're gonna go and they've given us like a space on the floor and we're gonna say that we've got a new role playing game and that we need a test audience. Mm -hmm. And so it was called Intergalactic Food Smugglers. Yeah, because it had to be about food because of Alka Seltzer. Oh, right. Yes. Oh. Makes sense. At a certain point, you got to start popping those Alka now, Seltzer. Was that because <laughs> since then, haven't you done a lot of food? You know, like. Yeah. Yeah, was that yeah. the Genesis? No, it, it wasn't because that was 08, and then we didn't start GMM, Good Mythical Morning, until 2012, and we didn't start eating stuff on GMM until. A couple of years like into a, it. Two, yeah, like you, 2014. So to give people who don't know that are listening or watching, uh, uh, how many YouTube channels do you guys have? No. Um, of damn five ish, five ish. <laughs> it's kind of loose. Yeah, I mean we've got Good Mythical Morning as a show, and then that's that your, that's every morning. Yeah, yeah. That, yep. that show continues, so there's like ten more minutes. That's Good Mythical More, where it's like more laid back, which is like behind the scenes. Another channel, but hanging yeah, out. It's more of the same show. And then we have our podcast Ear Biscuits that we do every week, and that's another channel, and. That's basically we have the, well, well, and we, we have, have the, our main channel. We have the original Rhett and Link we, channel. That's what I'm saying. Which right. we like, it's basically just an archive at this point because we don't have a, we're not uploading anything to it. Just because you're we, focusing on the other places. Yeah, because everything, uh, any, any, whatever we're doing that's like narrative scripted stuff that we're developing is more traditional route right now. So instead of trying to do that on YouTube. Oh, going traditional as in TV. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we did, we had like a YouTube Red, I guess it's YouTube Premium now. Uh -huh show like a half hour comedy for two seasons on that but again that was we we and i think we put that on the gmm channel because at this point that channel has like 15 million subscribers versus 15 the, million. the original <laughs> channel has got like i uh, four or five oh, right. that bullshit yeah because it's just yeah. the, the because the daily the we the whole gmm was just a, a side project so the reason we moved to la is so if you fast forward from those alka seltzer days you get to we just started like we were making all our money through just brand integrations. Right. Then eventually we turned on like we got into the YouTube partner programs where they caught it at the time where, you know, the AdSense money started coming in. So we kind of supplemented our income doing that. Yeah. So they share like 55 percent with the creators. It's like a standard thing mm -hmm. across the board. Right. And but we were continuing to, to do that. Uh, and then we were trying all kinds of stuff. This is all back in North Carolina. Like we would, this, we music videos, sketch. Um, and then one of the things that's really started hitting in like 08, 09 was we started making local commercials. Yes, I've seen a few of their well, yes. we did a, uh, We did one for a furniture uh, yes. place. Uh, the yeah. Red House Furniture, I where black that. people and white people buy furniture. Oh my yes. God, that's you guys? Yeah. 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 We <laughs> love that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh I my think, God. I think years ago, we, we played that we on the show. We just audio only. We played that on the show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Red House. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're in the ad, you know, singing that part that's of the song. That's hilarious. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's you guys. Yeah, so we started doing that. Are black people and white people still allowed to buy furniture there? Yeah, yeah. But only black people and white people. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. no, all people, or as the guy at the end of the thing says, and Hispanic people too. And Hispanic <laughs> people. Yeah. Um, so, but we, so we did that, and then that was like the first time we started getting like interest from L.A. We all these yeah. production companies started calling and saying we'd love to turn this into some kind of show. Um, we ended up selling a season of the show to IFC. That was when we. Packed everybody up and moved to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that show was only one season, but we made we made one commercial for a, a taxidermist in Ojai 
called Chuck Testa. So there was a, like a meme that was Nope Chuck Testa. Was that is that like doing that though? Was that also just off a cold call? Do you just well, call a place? At that no, at that point, you know, through the production company, they said, "All right, we're going to do the casting thing." So then people would send in tapes. Oh, I got you. So there was like yeah. a Once there was, it was like an show, audition yeah. tape where it was like Chuck's son was filming him skin something and the dude's barefoot and he talks like this and he's very deadpan and we're like this guy's great so we came up with nope chuck testa like <laughs> just watching the audition tape and we're like right. I, I bet you we can talk this guy into yeah. doing anything <laughs> and yeah. he was like a really good sport yeah he's great. and he like he says it like it changed my life for maybe a year. I don't yeah. know. He's he's still a friend of mine. Do you do you uh you guys have, have you done or are interested in doing features at all or no? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, we 10 years ago, well, more than 10 years ago now, we we did like a documentary feature that was us trying to find our first grade teacher. Oh, I saw that. Um, Spoiler alert, you found her. <laughs> yeah, looking you for Miss Locker. You watched it or you saw that no. it existed? I saw that it existed. Okay, I yeah. have that's not cool. watched it yet. That's cool. Um, <laughs> but but no. you're still going to spoil it. Uh, okay, that's cool. No, you said it in your video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You yeah, guys yeah. said it in one of your videos. Right, yeah. But yeah, no, we, wanted, we don't have, nothing in the works right now. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah. Are you ever like, do you ever stop, like, are you ever astounded at like, that, that not like 15 million people yeah it's, yeah. it's crazy it's crazy right because yeah. we've, we've started touring mm -hmm. like the you know like the gig at the ryman i mean just to be able to say oh we're playing at the ryman like that's wild as country music fans that's that's pretty amazing yeah and then you know we get went to australia and like people are buying tickets and showing up it's just weird man it's yeah. crazy yeah yeah and again i like i think it's even like you know we come from stand-up so you think of like it's a you know more traditional path right but like you basically built this path like there that didn't really exist i mean we we, yeah it. we we've just kind of stumbled into the next thing it's wild. you know it's it's we and now we're at this place where because of the popularity of this one show we can sh sh we wouldn't have to necessarily be funny like we would still probably have people show up, which I think is probably happening with YouTubers uh, yeah. who are doing live shows. I'm not yeah. going to name any names, but I, the, we, we have this, this way that we can have an idea. Like we just, we're finishing a novel right now uh, that's coming out in the fall. That is uh, you know, it's all, it's kind of based in the two boys who are freshmen in high school, kind of encountering some weird stuff in their yeah. town. And, the fact that people, we've got a built-in audience who's going to read that. Hopefully beyond the audience will read it as well. Sure. But it just gives you the, uh, you can kind of play around with it. It's things. all about that pre-sale, man. You got to get an order. <laughs> got to pre-order right. that thing, That's man. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so look, since you guys are such, um, you know, uh, so into and, and know the YouTube uh, audience so well and how it works, I mean, can you give us some guidance? Like we have a fart mic, right? So anybody, good. Okay. Uh, good. what That's can we do start. to up our game? That's you know? step one. <laughs> Anything? Any advice? Hmm. Well, let me see what you got. H hit me on the fart mic. Yeah. I have nothing right now. Oh, me you got neither. I'm empty. Do you guys yeah. have any farts? Uh, no. no. I just I mm. went pretty deep. I thought too. maybe I did, but I was I really wanted to think about it for you. Yeah, and I'm glad you did. Well, he has right. You have farted on You farted on on, farted on, on the on the podcast one time. You right did. In, right into the mic though? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we, so we each farted. No, the mic on, was here, but I mean, it was. I, on, I went hard on GMM, <laughs> so you like, could hear it. On okay. GMM, we've each farted uh, unintentionally, and it was okay. caught on camera and left in the. Yeah, that, wow, we found yeah. that quite funny. That's um, nice. Hey, do we have that uh, clip of their food? The thing. Oh, have, yeah, let me load it up. Yeah, there, there's a um, just to kind of inform the audience. Like, here's uh, yeah, you guys. I felt like I disappointed you because I didn't fart into no. your mic. I mean, here's, I'll let you know if one comes up. Here's a Rhett and Link food tasting video that we found. <laughs> this is from like <laughs> fucking 2010. Shit, I bought the motherfucker today at the store. Is this when you had a beard? Oh, <laughs> a whole eight Look pound at that belly. fucking chicken <laughs> that I'm about to sit here and devour because I'm a fucking glutton. The low <laughs> angle is great. Always flattering. Fucking mayonnaise, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just baby, it's fucking mayonnaise. Like I always All right. do everything. Yeah. Oh, there he whoa. goes. Uh, I love this guy so yeah, much. Oh, yeah, the great. fucking legs and thighs. Does he have other videos? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't know, you this know who is? that is? Oh. No, never seen this guy. You ever been this on the internet before? Jeez. Break his fucking leg off. It's first fucking leg. Well, he switched oh. up. So he. <laughs> that's King Ass Ripper. 
and uh, he used to just <laughs> exclusively do fart videos. Really? Under yes. the handle I fart in yo face. And he would get kicked off of YouTube and he'd go to Live Leak and then Live Leak would do something. I don't do think you should get kicked off for farting. I know. Uh, I, I agree. But however, he would were, wear torn and tattered <laughs> Oh, he would expose the anus? Well, no. No. But there would be holes. little peaks. Like he would little, kind of wink at you. You'd see like, oh, a, and, uh, right, okay, like yeah. a color change. And he would do yeah. things like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. He, they were real. Like they looked worse than that shirt that's on. You know what I mean? His okay. underwear did. Got okay. it. And he would just like walk up the stairs, turn around, look at you, fart, or he'd lay on the couch, two thumbs up. But see, he, I, I don't mean to be But critical. he went down the glutton angle now. So now he's all about... And which, now, which creatively, I'm personally, I like his earlier work. I'm into yeah. the farts a little yeah. more. Is this guy on your payroll? Because I'm about to... I no, guess no, no, I have no. a new one. I I've, wish. No, no, no. Please Go let ahead. us uh, rip all right, the ass so for a new one. I don't like this guy because... <laughs> okay. He's, you know... <laughs> Please tell us. He's he could be real, but he's not. Like the internet's the internet can it can contain the real version of this. You don't mm -hmm. like the bit. I think this is the saying. bit version. There was a I mean, there's a mm. guy who was on Instagram who was a he was a security guard That's at like Paul a, Flart. We know him. Yeah, he's been guy. on the show. He's been on the show. He's been I on the show. Him. Now that guy is great. Yeah. yeah. That's an artist. It's a good work. He, a yeah. I mean, yeah. he got <laughs> fired for fart. I mean, you've yeah. talked to him. No, we know him. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He's bring him out. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, please. Hey, Paul. You, you uh, keep them all. No, it's just like no, just latch him. I'll okay. tell you that about this guy, uh, the king here. He won't. He won't respond. No, we've tried courting he him. He dedicated for a, a video to us once. So yeah. He was like uh, dedicated to your mom's house, yeah. but he he won't actually. He, he's scared. He's very coy, uh, coy. Now wait. So what you're saying? I'm not like, saying he's not a good character. I'm just saying once you've seen the real thing. You know that this could like, exist and it, this is just frustrates you knowing that you're not seeing it. You're saying that you don't feel the authenticity yeah. from this guy. You right. feel like this is a show and this is not who he is. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Wow. I've never, I don't see, see you that. wanted to read more genuine, yeah. more grounded. No, more I just. grounded performance. Uh, this is, this is a performance. He's right. playing a character. Well, wow. well see that, I think that like my favorite thing about. There's those, nothing wrong with that. No, I, I get it. It's but just saying, when you've seen the real thing. I the mean, commercials you made, you know, those like the, for, like, yeah. the yeah. great thing about those commercials. I mean, it's, it's, I guess it's subjective. Depends on your sense of humor was when you feel like this is real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And, oh, and, you know, the first one we ever made. We made it for a furniture, another furniture place, Bobby Denning <laughs> Furniture in somewhere in North Carolina. High Point. And, uh, oh, High okay. Point's real close. No, no, not High it Point. It wasn't High Point, though. It was, for, it was down like east. Mount Olive. Anyway. So, but we made the commercial for them, and they had this like tradition of making really you know, funny commercials, unintentionally funny commercials. Uh, and we acted like we were two of the family members, and we kind of like were the leads in the commercial. And we got them to be a part of it. <clears throat> but when we watched it back, we were like, well, we is, put it out. We did. We, we were was like, this is not great. Uh, but at the same time, we made the Red House and then the Cuban gynecologist because that guy, <laughs> that guy was in High Point. So that's the guy who was a used car salesman from Cuba who had been a gynecologist in yeah. Cuba. Right. And so we kind of <laughs> leaned into that and it was Jeez. like, I'm so we didn't give him a stethoscope. He had it in his drawer right. of wow. his, like, his sales desk. And that's what was, in, and that's the switch we made was we don't, why, why do we have to play characters when yeah. these real people Exist. are basically writing this for us? I mean, yeah, it's easy. And that's it's what we funnier. like. We've always found the stuff that we make that we're not in to be, that's our favorite stuff. And, it's <laughs> stuff, and it, when it's real, it's like, yeah. is, this is Didn't based on have, this guy's story. Is one of those commercials, maybe it's the furniture one, or maybe it's another one where you had a, the mother, somebody who was like, try to say a line like 40 times, um, we got scooters. The, yeah, was it? We got scooters. That was that was an outtake <laughs> from the one that he's talking about, where yeah. we played the two brothers. Yes. So and then we realized she, that that was so much funnier. That was hilarious. And that's when it clicked. That, and like, she's like, oh, scooters. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> she could like. Yeah. She would even like screw up. We got scooters, right? right. Or yeah, say yeah, it like yeah, yeah, ten yeah. different ways. And she frustrated herself. But we uh, got her to market. We said you can market this scooter to people who've had, you know, DUIs. So we're like, oh, that's oh right. you got a DWI? Yeah. Get a scooter. And yeah. she couldn't say DWI That's either. right. That's what it was. That <laughs> right. was, so, so that See, was yours. That, yeah, that, that should have been hilarious. the ad, right? That that's, was just an outtake. That's it. That should exactly. be, yeah. that should be your only thing that airs. <laughs> right. You got a DWI? Your scooter. <laughs> yes. 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 That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys, we, one of the things we discuss sometimes on this show is, you know, we're married. 
You guys are basically a married couple. By the way, yeah. very good looking guys. I can see why you have a very successful handsome. channel. <laughs> so, God, they're good looking. No, so, one, they are. They're so much cuter. Than, YouTubers are generally cuter than comedians. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you guys have a look. I can see why, you know. Yeah. Well, young, we spend a lot of time on our hair. Yeah, you guys have great hair. You great guys outfits. Do have great hair. You're very fit. That's when I could tell you guys went Hollywood with that hair. But yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's not North Carolina hair. <laughs> right. So. Anyways, we, talk, we discuss well, yeah, your nice Chanel's. We discuss whether or not you know how ride or die. Um, one of the, the scenarios that came up once was like I go to Starbucks. It's like an addiction every day, and I have a very specific order. It's not that complicated, but I like a splash of milk. And a lot of times I'll watch them just dump milk. And I get upset, and I right. told her, you know, what if I were to wait outside one of these locations, and I target the barista who made it wrong. I kill them in a fit of rage and then I come home and I'm like, I got to tell you something. I killed somebody today. Oh, okay. Would you turn me in? So let's flip the scenario and oh, say it's yeah. between you guys. Mm, Your wow. partner here is like, Hey man, I know we're about to record. Uh, I got to tell you something real quick. I know we're going <laughs> to, we're going to try out these hot dogs, but let me tell you something real quick. Uh, uh, I killed somebody today. Anyways, could now, you first help of all, me? You, you got to understand, uh, I'm not good with hypothetical situations. Yeah. So when you pitch a hypothetical, I start to internalize it as real. So like, I'm, yeah. you no, feel, you you're feeling emotions I'm right freaking now. out over <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're going to fucking like, break. Oh, you're going to no. rat. Yeah. Oh, he's going to rat. It, I, think gonna this rat. Is a, I think this is a pretty clear thing. <laughs> yeah. I would help, I have my answer. But. I would try to find a way to help him evade the situation this is my man what? And also and by the way would turn me in with, yeah. and without wow. doubt here's the other thing i didn't tell you that you and i have a similar conversation with our therapist because uh <laughs> my therapist is also like you live in a narrow bandwidth of emotions <laughs> <laughs> so and then she's like i would call immediately immediately yeah. well but, but, but here's, why? here's my thinking What's okay the... because he's the father of my small children and if here's here's the deal man if it were like he kills a pedophile or he kills uh, somebody that hurts our family, dude, I'm the first one to get a shovel. I'm going to help right. him get rid of the body. Right. Okay. Now, if it's just a barista at Starbucks who gets his drink order wrong. Over and over wrong. Okay. <laughs> it means that something's wrong, right? Something screw, screwy up here. Right. Who knows what he's going to snap on next. That's, That's not a reason to kill a man. A or a woman. I mean, dude, you know what she the actually said order. to me? It's not, it's not enough I tell reason. her this one time. She's like... Uh, who, uh, what if you're going to kill me and the kids? Next? Absolutely. Like, why if, would you take it? There? Well, because he's capable. <laughs> but why? Why wouldn't I take it there? He's capable of murdering a barista over an incorrect drink order. Who's to say he's not going to turn that rage on yeah. myself or the children? I got to protect my kids. Do you do stuff for him, like splash milk into things for him <laughs> all the time, just to prevent the rage? Yeah, <laughs> that's no way to live. It's no way you, to live. That's just you, you cool just like down. nervously splashing milk in this <laughs> stuff just to keep him happy. Oh, I do. I do. <laughs> he gets in the car. You're running out like. That. <laughs> See, you just and I are similar live. emotionally. When I have to get his Starbucks order, there is that anxiety. I mean, like, I better get this right. I, I, I think I don't you get this might right. need to take a measuring spoon. Oh, yeah. you know, it, are you have oh. you, some people bring their own cups, mugs, and yeah. Starbucks. They do. Bring your own little thing and be like, this is what you need to put the milk you in. You know what I started to do? It's a great idea. It's, it's, it feels like a Would you please obnoxious. validate this idea? <laughs> no, no. This I, is a great I started idea. to address it. I, I started to, to say uh, black, nothing in it, and then like when they start making that, I go, oh, can I get on the side no. a little Ooh. bit of milk? Oh, that's smart. And then they'll be like, do you want room? And I go, no, 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 because I don't want them to be like, what? here, we'll leave this much what, room what, Are they you. just... What, what drink are you what's your drink it's so easy okay. it's not it is it's <laughs> because a, it's, this a, is it's a venti large iced coffee extra ice okay no sweetener because a lot of times yeah, yeah no sweetener yep. black that's okay. it that's how it so With the, and then you say and then i go can i get a side cup? no before that before i did that yeah i before, would say a splash of whole milk you say a splash of and i would milk. watch these dudes and ladies just go like do, 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 do. It's not a there splash. You go. I'm like, come yeah, on, that, man. But hold on, that, splash is that such is an not a splash. imprecise term. Man, and he's an engineer. It, you're right. You're Listen right. It is an imprecise term. But then I would say, I would start when I would get frustrated about that. I would say, can I get a very small splash <laughs> or a very small amount? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would yeah. still get like just half a glass. Of but, so but then it, I used to go, make it black. Got it. But it's imprecise. And the engineers, these two, the brains here are like, you're being imprecise. Is but you would right? help him bury, you would help him bury the body. No, no, let's That's revisit. Hearing yeah, my I argument, so. go ahead. 
He's a sociopath, clearly. He's a psychopath. So you're saying Rhett did what you, he yes. killed the barista. Yes. I'm saying yeah, in this scenario, that's, Rhett, that's both, but, but Rhett also, see, if you did something, just like if she came to me, if she was like, came to me and she was like, oh, I was dropping off the kids at school today, I saw a mailman, I killed him. I'd be like, oh, really? Let's figure out how to get like, hide this and I'm, I'm going to help you get out of this situation. That would be my first thought. How do I help you get away with yeah. this I, I unprovoked do, I, murder? I think that would be, I think my first thought would be. Unprovoked murder. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. And if we both go to prison, who's raising the kids? That's yeah, another that's true. thing. Yeah, you do have to think we are about that. Okay, well, yeah. first thought. So we got to get away with it. <laughs> I think my first thought would be, I, be, I bet we don't have to tell anybody. I bet we can. Yeah. Oh, bullshit. I, I, bet we can, I think that would, but then there'd be a, a second thought right after it, like immediately right after it. It's like, there's no way that I can succeed. I'm pretty good at keeping secrets, but, but I'm not good at like you covering would, up bodies. You would be like, you, I, this is what I think. I think you'd be like, all right, man, <laughs> we're definitely just not going to say anything. And then he would go to lunch and come back. You'd be like, FBI is coming yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Link would cave in a minute. I feel like he doesn't have yeah. the constitution. I mean, because you're, you said you're, you're, you, you're you, get, nice. you feel your yeah. emotions, right? Yeah. You express when your feelings are hurt. It would be overwhelming. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a natural thing to do. Well, yeah. I didn't know the barista. I don't know if my feelings would be hurt. Well, maybe <laughs> but, you'd be like, God, but you, the how guilt. often are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, he, here's, the, here's the mitigating factor. Uh, that I, I think you're right, that I would just say, hey, you're, you're going down, man, and I'm not going with you. Uh, because is there a clause in our, in our insurance? Like we've got- <laughs> Probably. Uh, at, a cer- <laughs> at a certain point, we got, we got insurance. Yeah. Can we talk about it? Is talking about the insurance make it where if but you d- kill somebody, I can't get it? Does it, in- does it include like moral failure situations? If, if, if There's you're probably morally, morality clause. If you're, moral failure. We need to check into that. If you're morally disabled. Oh, wow. That's like an that's, that's a great way to say you're in prison. Then yeah. I am going. I, I got to get. I got to get that income that is gone by you not being there, which is going to be low. Like because I'm 90, still there. Ninety five percent, probably. Like yeah. you're going to be like a fi- the, that five percent contribution that you make. <laughs> you know, I want to get that. I want to get that quantified. <laughs> yeah, I, I think if you put this in. Because I, I, I think what I would be trying to do is... I, I think, would, by the way, I think I'm much more likely to kill somebody, but I would... Accidentally. No. It Definitely. would be an accident. He's, we don't allow him to touch art, sharp objects on the show because he's, you know, he's, he's a danger to himself and others. Yeah. Really? I'm impulsive. I, I don't think I'm... Cl- but well, I, I'm clumsy I think and it's I'm about impulsive. minimizing the damage, though, because um, if it, a more realistic situation like uh, like a hit and run or something, something like that, like you know, I was I was. I don't think you should make this more real. <laughs> no, no, let's keep this like no. mildly hypothetical. No, because I was watching. Uh, it's incriminating if it's like I was watching. Um, I was probably some Reddit thread, and there was this uh, hidden camera of, or like surveillance footage of somebody pulling out in front of this car, and the car swerves. And the guy like flips and hits a sign. Turns out the guy like ended up in critical condition. The person who caused them to do this just like quickly turns around and goes away, right? Now, I, first of all, I don't think I would do that because it's like you're always going to get caught in those situations, right? It's, and and you, I think it'd be too much to deal with if you did get away with it. But if you made the mistake. Is that what? Uh, no, I'm saying. So if you made that mistake, yeah. you came home and you told me, it's like, dude, I just... I just uh, caused this guy to wreck and then, but there, you know, my car wasn't hit and I'm here now and I, I think he got hurt. What, what should I do? I panicked. I didn't intentionally flee. I just, I fled in a panic. I think in that situation, my goal would be to minimize the repercussions in your life, right? And so I think in that situation, I'd be like, you gotta go, you gotta turn yourself in right now. Because, because that's the most logical thing to do to I minimize that. the situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. But if it was a little bit different and it was like, you could get away with this, I would be the one that would be most likely to find that way and to, and there to, you go. to help you. Yeah, he's like, okay, he's like, I was in Boone. I was on a hike. 
And I just didn't like the way this guy looked at me. I just, I cut him up. <laughs> and he's like, come on, man, help me out. You're like, all right, here's what we got to do. I cut him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but your friend is crazy. Like, you no, realize that. No, he knows him 30 would be, years, It would man. be uh, just a slip up. A slip yeah. up where you chop up a man? No, you'd have to think that somebody, something snapped in your no, friend's mind. No, he's like, mind. I drained him. There's no blood. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at him fine. laughing, just like you. You guys are <laughs> sickos together. Uh, yeah. 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 But something's, that's, yeah, something's wrong. Can you be like, this guy's lost his shit? Right. What if he, what if he said, all I need you to do is say that we were having lunch in Peoria. <laughs> can, you, can you swing that for me? I mean, I, I'm actually, I would, I'm a little scared at how good I would be at doing that. Dude, yeah. same with him. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are kind of looking forward to that call. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I always laugh. Uh, there's there's got to be people like us, man. When I get like, accused of made something, the world go around. Yeah. I always look guilty when I didn't do something. Right. Yeah. But I like to think that when I am guilty, I'm pretty cool about it. Like, I don't right. know. I, it's like I have this like investment diversion mentality. It's like, I act guilty about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is my guilty voice. Right. <laughs> I didn't know. I think we have a great scenario for a feature or an animated show mm. here. You know? An animated yeah. murder cover up That's buddy what comedy. That's what talking about. Yes, dude. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this. it feels like this is, it had to have been done, right? What, what was the what I was feel the like movie? it would make it a pet. What's the movie like where somebody's pet? They the the uh, mm. the I think that's worse in some ways. Yes. The prostitute dies in the very beginning. Uh, Go ahead, Christian Tom. Slater. Which one is Christian it? Slater. Oh, the best movie ever, American Psycho. No. Oh no, no sorry. Early that's no. Not Christian Slater. It's uh, a bad. It's called like Bad Day. Or, a bad. I don't know. A very bad thing. Very bad people or something. I don't know. What. Yes. 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 <laughs> that bitch. What? What? Sorry, too short was here last the... week. He gave us that. It's a bitch button. <laughs> Too that's short. Good. We're talking about dead prostitutes. Oh, I, it was I didn't get that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Too thought, short was right there, man. I thought you were doing that. Thing. That's pretty awesome. I thought you were doing that thing with, as a seasoned podcast host. You're like, we're having that conversation where we're all trying to remember the name of a movie that everybody knows. Right, so right. Oh, right. I'm going to bitch this moment. I'm going to bitch. No, no. I'm like, no. oh, I respect no. that. I know. I yeah, wish, it's uh, now I wish it was that. Very, very bad things. things. Very bad yeah, things. Yeah, I know you said okay. that. Too that's short. like a group of friends trying to cover very something. Oh, oh, this is wow. totally good. Well, let me ask you this. But you can, so, re, you can go there again. We have uh, a, a segment we do called Horrible or Hilarious a lot. We show a video and um, we just get your reaction. Is yeah. this funny or is it terrible? Hmm. One of them actually is uh, incredibly interesting because of the fact that there's like it's two buddies involved in something and i'm wondering if <laughs> you guys would be the hardcore support and friend that the one person needs okay so this is out in uh the uh like nature right out in a stream of water i guess you would call okay. it um and these guys are I think they're actually out there trying to uh, get, what is it, fish? Yeah. Crabs? <laughs> yeah. This is a great crabs. setup. Crabs. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know what it be is. Like a, Lobsters, crabs, hmm? something of that nature. All right. Yeah. So they're, they're crabbing. They're okay. crabbing, I guess. But it does, it's, it's, it's not, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It's not, it doesn't, I always thought of crabbing as like uh, throwing in, like the traps. Yeah, and the like, basket. These guys are like out there with their hands. Yeah. this shit. So. Are um, they noodling? Are oh, they, no, no. That's different. This is in another part of the it's world. kind of noodling. Okay. Oh, oh, You'll oh, see. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-uh. So he's got a... He's got a crab on his ding ding. But then. Okay. Uh, okay. Look, Rhett comes over. <laughs> <laughs> handles it for his bro. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the, the, the pincher's claw, still the there. The claw's still there. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Ugh. See, I'm. I, you, you guys seem deeply troubled. I am um, so suspicious of this. Yeah. yeah. Does it feel contrived? Yes. Oh. Well, you got a third person with the camera. Who's right. that? You? That's me. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. So. 
Well, All I was right. in I was in uh, uh, Bora Bora, and I was like, "Hey, you guys, <laughs> you I got a great fun? idea." <laughs> <laughs> but would um, you hook your friend up like that? Oh god! Take the crab off of his I painter. Would, oh, yeah. Why didn't he use his own Definitely. hands? Is it my first thing? That's what out. I would walk yeah, over. That's the, that's the yeah. main so, thing. Dude, you I'm got thinking two about. hands. They're Isn't right that? there next to but your crotch. Screaming like yeah, he's freaked out. He's so freaked out. But see, yeah, but it's all. This is where the video starts. It's already on him. It's already this point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, he's a good screamer. Yeah. He knows yeah, how to yeah, scream. Yeah. And, the, and the double scream. Are the other ones? Get the other ones. <laughs> yeah. But if that did authentically happen to you, yeah, no problem, man. No, yeah. you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I don't it. think I've ever taken anything off of your penis before, but. Well, and he faces the camera, too. Well, That's interesting. Like, well, he, hold on. the crab, and he's like, here, look at it. When I moved out. Oh. You you had that other roommate who moved in, and I thought I heard the story that you removed a tick from the glands of his penis. What? Whoa. This is an exclusive. I feel like I would remember. YMH exclusive. This is I'm a total about, exclusive. I'm talking about Josh. This is a YMH exclusive. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you, hold on. Is that your voice? Hold on. Mm-mm. I don't think I removed it, but I do think that he let you watch. No, I think he came. I think he came home from like a camping trip or something. And it was on. This is when I was. So after Link moved out. Um, and got married, I I had actually bought this really shady apartment in Raleigh mm-hmm. um, and then got like six roommates. I slept on the floor Jesus. and charged them all rent. Whoa. <laughs> what um, the hell? And so I just had a just a lot of guys just coming in and out of there as long as they were willing to pay like $200 a month for some portion of a room they could God, stay. That sounds disgusting. Yeah. And uh, there was a guy. Especially who, when you hear about this guy. Mm. He came home from something and yeah, he had a, I think he had a tick on his nuts. Mm. I I distinctly remember it being on the wiener tip. On the, sh- on the, t- on the tip? Mm. A, That's how I remember it. A, a tick you, tip? A tip tick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tip tick. I've never heard of a tip tick. I've I, never heard of that either. And they get man. I feel like I must have blocked this out because I definitely did. Swell didn't, up. I don't too. remember. I, I do have this vague recollection of him showing everyone. He showed it to everyone. Showed everybody, and, and then, he was like, "Can you help me out?" And then I think I. He was like, "My two hands are holding <laughs> it up." I, I did not. I, I definitely. You? I would remember if I helped him. I did. I think he showed it to us, and then he went to the bathroom and took care of it himself. Jeez. How do you take care of that? You just light a flame to it? How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, don't you have to burn off the tick or whatever? Well, I don't know. You burn the tick after you remove it from your, from your pecker. Because wow. you, you don't burn it on the you, pecker. You have to. Yeah. You, what you got to do is you got to get the pincers out. So like with tweezers, you got to get in there and get the... And this is... If it's like, small enough, you can paint nail polish over a tick and it will it will begin to suffocate. Chiggers, man. And it'll let loose. That's oh, that's chiggers. chiggers. You paint... Red bugs? You, you, did you ever get chiggers? No. So they definitely are not out here. No. I don't red know bugs. if they're in the Midwest, but they're all over the Southeast and you, for some reason, only get them when you're kids, but you'll go out and play and then you come back and then you'll have these red bumps all in your crotch, like on <sighs> the upper thighs. And then your mom takes a uh, nail polish remover or clear, no, clear nail polish and paints over them. And it and because the, they have like a little breathing tube that they've stuck out of your skin and they suffocate and die and go away. Oh my god, Chiggers. that sounds horrible Jesus. and racist. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it Jeez. does. There's probably a there's probably a new name for them. <laughs> That's why I kept saying red bugs, red bugs. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Is there another uh, horrible god. hilarious to show them? So we're, get... so we're saying uh, that was hilarious. You're was saying laughing. funny? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super great. <laughs> this is not contrived. This is not okay. set up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> was that a gorilla? <laughs> was that right? That was a bull. Dude. That was a bull. <laughs> now listen. The bull. Ah, look at the two psychos laughing. Look at the two psychos oh, man, laughing. I thought it was a gorilla. That's that was super exciting. Look at the back legs on that bull. It looks oh like. Oh my God. That's two men in a suit, man. 
<laughs> no. You're like, this is a bit, man. That is you a, can tell. Look at this first frame. <laughs> totally shut up. No, that's a real bull. But my question is, the bull went back into the shadows and like crushed this woman, and then nobody came out. Oh, and the guy, where's the bull? Fell. Oh yeah, it comes out. Look at this guy. He's like, all right, man. All right, enough of this. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, okay. There he comes. Oh, this is terrible. I, I just got a cigarette in his is mouth. Is that a guy, the bull's owner? I don't know. He seemed real calm about it. I mean, look at that. He's just smoking. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's smoking. The smoking guy's the best part. That's the funniest yeah. part of the video. Actually. He's just well, like, the scream. Moses. Calm. The woman scream. I don't like the scream. I like this guy's nonchalant cigarette. She's definitely overreacting. Okie dokie, guys. She is. Psycho you know why? soulmates you know why? here. She knows there's a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah, the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. like, oh, I'll, I'll do it up for the camera. Yeah, you, I mean, where does she, how does she end up, guys? She's in the shadow back doesn't there. Doesn't care. They out. don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Well, they, the thing, I, my experience in. That it, guy doesn't care either, by the way. No, my experience no, with bulls no. is this that. This dude doesn't give a fuck. No. <laughs> and like bull happened. videos, people do, rarely, people don't get hurt that bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. You got like, you, you watch 10 bull videos, people getting hit. Nine times out of ten, they walk away. Yeah, no this problem. lady could still breathe oh, on her own. That's because you're yeah, watching the rodeo. You're not watching <laughs> yeah. like, you know, like S- Spanish bull running. <laughs> yeah, don't people get gored? And st- she still seems to be hurting. Yeah. Her, her lungs are intact. I don't. Both of she's fine. Like screaming. Yeah. She is fine. <clears throat> okay, look who's laughing now. Psycho Link <laughs> joined you guys. <laughs> that was unexpected. I will say that. Really? Oh, that was and, 20, 2019. We don't even. Yeah, yeah, we don't even need to vote. These guys both voted hilarious. Obviously, oh, she's yeah. not even fully recovered yet, guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. going to go horrible on this. <laughs> okay. Not interested. <laughs> All right. Way to bum everybody out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Can we yeah. see another one? This is, there is another fun. one. Christina the bummer. Yeah. Definitely. Let's see what. Jeez. What's this one? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is like the, this is like the winemaking lady. The, right, the see, oh yeah, oh, that yeah. was a fun one. Here's yeah. the thing: he he got the wind knocked out of him. Yeah. He's making that wind knocked out noise. Here's my yeah. theory: it's it's when you don't see anything grotesque. In other words, someone got hurt, but you're not seeing like actual, yeah, you know the the injury, right? Yeah. And then a noise like a a grunt or a scream the it's screams funny. are funny that's the funny yeah part. the yeah. screams yeah, are yeah funny. there was a delay like you there. can't see that his yeah. knee is torn to shreds <laughs> right <laughs> like that he has no right yeah there's exposed bone yeah is this another angle this is a different video different guy yeah, different guy yeah oh no he's going to oh, oh. <laughs> He's dead. He died. <laughs> the reason there was no grunt. The reason I, I have first trouble. First one was hilarious. Second one. Horrible. I, I, I have trouble. Just nothing. Just blah. Anytime. I don't know. I like I'm tall. I got back problems. I'm constantly thinking about not getting hurt. Yeah. I think 80% of my mental energy at this point in my life is devoted to not getting hurt. Really? While, while, while moving. While moving. Yeah. And so when I, I see that, that situation, I, it, the ice and the snow. I'm just, uh, it's difficult for me to watch because I, I think you, about what I would, what, how I would react. Yeah. You know why I like that video? I don't like people that wear shorts in the snow. <laughs> yeah. They and deserve I, what they got. They deserve, time. yes. <laughs> yeah, God's okay. punishing and them I'm, for. I'm the psycho. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I about, agree. I agree well, with you. Well, wear pants. It's freezing outside. What's yeah, wrong yeah, with pants? Yeah. It's snowing. This is the video that started it all. Oh, this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't. Why are you laughing? Yeah, I don't know. Don't I don't know. Laugh. I don't know. Why I don't know. You all right? <laughs> oh, God. Lost both at the knees. Amputated at the knees. 
Oh, guys. No, he's fine. He's fine. He really is. They followed it up. Oh, it was really? a big story in Taiwan. Yeah. yeah. See, here's the deal. He's okay. Was he driving it's, that thing remotely? It looked like he was. He had a remote, that, he he like, like he had a remote control. Uh, oh, that's interesting. That's the first thing I thought. It's so like, he this only has driving himself a truck to blame. I, if I was watching that live, mm -hmm. I would react differently. There's something yes. about the fact that it's been captured and packaged. That's true. That makes me think that whatever. No, live, you would this guy freak out. Through. You would freak out. Yeah, right. Of course. Yeah. I mean, you'd laugh, but then you'd be like, I got to help him out. You <laughs> no, know? I would probably just walk over very slowly and then kind of stare down at him. Not unlike that guy did. Right, yeah. That was a crazy reaction, right? <laughs> that the, just like a slow... Yeah. Again, he, he moseyed over. It's like yeah. the guy with the cigarettes brother. He's like, yeah. I would have walked over the driver and put my arm like, you got to get the fuck out of here. I'll take care of this. <laughs> and then I just beat the guy on the ground. <laughs> oh, that, I mean, the, the screams just didn't stop enough for a lot to allow me to laugh. There was yeah. no... Yeah. There was no punchline well, for the, me in that The one. lack of um, value of human life is interesting. Like when no, you mean the guy who walks around, he's like... Care. Yeah. Yeah. Stone-faced. Hmm. Yeah. That was bad. He's seen this He looked before. like, where was that, where was that um, bump on the road? Like, yeah. he looked down like, what, yeah. what was that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was a person? No, there's my All wrench. Right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't care. Cool, man. Yeah. 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 Man. Oh, now they're showing us another uh, one. Hey, uh, we better do something. What? Oh gosh. Don't hurt me too much. It fucking hurts so bad. Oh god. Oh god, it hurts so fucking bad. Oh. Oh god. The military is involved. <laughs> oh god. All right. Look at this psycho laugh. I, I better do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I, Link was affected by that one. So yeah, he, I mean, he knew he was coming down too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he, something was wrong with the parachute. Yeah, the better do something. I, I can't. I never pinpointed what the something was. I don't know what you could do. I think, I think he just hit. I think right before you hit the ground, you jump. <laughs> <laughs> like in an elevator. Right. Like in a, right. like in a right. falling elevator. Ah, yeah. You're, you're supposed to lay flat, right? Well, in a, in it, a falling it, elevator. It, it, elevator is falling. Fa falling. You spread yourself as wide as you can laying down on the ground to distribute the load oh you don't stand that's obviously scary. you definitely don't jump because yeah, you don't want that's not going to work you don't, you do don't stand because it'll compress your spine you get on your back, back. and you spread out you're probably going to die anyway yeah you're going to it's done this is the no you're the, so if you i mean yeah, if you if you want to make sure that you're gonna die, then just do a handstand. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, hey, does this mean that you like? Do you go on Reddit and look at all the twisted, twisted no. stuff? No, no, not at all. Not okay, at all. so you have a line. Oh yeah, I don't I don't search for any of this. So you just a, laugh at it when it's presented to you. Yeah, if I like, I think the 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 points that I pointed out are what I've discovered I can like if I see someone and you're like check this out and this dude's head cracks open like I'm it's yeah, not funny to yeah, me yeah that's not good I, I do think there's something about not seeing any gore yeah and hearing yells that does make it's me it's the laugh. suffering right. that Tom likes the screaming yeah, the sounds yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. suffering <laughs> oh me too no, yeah I, I, I get it yeah. yeah I'm telling you well, because there's that 50 50 uh, Reddit thread where it's like, I don't go on any of that shit. Is this a, you know, a kid eating an ice cream or is it, you know, uh, a monkey getting run over? Like, oh, like, like, it's like, I'm, and I, and I don't do, I don't play that game. Yeah, How do you know, know about it? Because our, the GMM crew made us play a, like a much oh, more a, tame version of that on version. the show. But that's sort of like a Reddit thread, and it's either going to be something really pleasant or really horrible. I've discovered that as as much as I laugh at some of this stuff, I don't have I don't have it in me to watch actual, real physical violence or yeah. like yeah, yeah. really go. I can't. I can't. I don't like it. <laughs> right, yeah. but I I I actually feel like I, I understand the, the this realm that that we're operating in here. There's like. Um, to me, I think there's both. It's not, you can, I can be, I can find parts of it funny and I can yeah. find p parts of it horrendous. No, I think that's, that's accurate. You know, it's yeah. like. Well, it's supposed to be on the line, most of it, you know? Right? Yeah, like, and that's, that's what I think. A, a lot of people, they're like, this day and age, you can't find things funny. You have to, you have to make a decision. You're either going to find something funny or you're going to, or you're going to be outraged about something. And it's like, I, I, 
I think both can be true, and then you just got to figure out who you trust to let them know that you find it funny. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That's, That's true. a big part I mean, of it. Someone's not the one to talk to, but yeah. <laughs> I, I tend to just... Just about the violent videos. Whatever. I don't yeah, get offended. Not when ever. it comes to violence, but when it comes to certain types of comedy, I don't have a specific example, but like, I just think you can be... Again, you can find something funny, and then you can... You ever go on e fucked? No, what is that? No, no. It's, it's a. Is this a, we- is a website? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. that? E F U K T. How uh, you guys stepped into the devil's lair? <laughs> that one. What, what is it? Okay, so it's a guy who he is a curator of types, and he, <laughs> he's actually a talented editor. I'll give him that. Okay. Um, so he'll it'll he it stays. It's a lot of adult, um, like x-rated stuff okay but it'll either it's it falls into different categories within that umbrella so some of it'll be like a big tent this is a a big (laughs) tent some of it'll be like actual um you know some girl being like oh my 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 anal prolapse keeps uh (laughs) giving me problems when i'm shooting scenes and it's like a ridiculous thing like that like i'm an lol genre then there's like blooper stuff then there's horrendous stuff like stuff where don't it's, say it. it's hard yeah it's hard to watch <laughs> don't say it hard yeah. to watch you guys yeah. aren't into that stuff no no yeah. you're not no. but i'm saying you should check it out <laughs> i mean just uh, maybe just not to just to see just to see one yeah. time sometimes some some videos are just people crying <laughs> <laughs> look at he's guys what's it like to be normal what's it like to not Talk about know. farts just, all day or shit. We shitting. can hang out later. I just, I if know. you ever just need to call me. I know. Oh, wait. Do Come you have up. any? Uh, so you've, you've been here on the show now. Like, do you have any? Like, you guys are the YouTube gods. You, what's your advice for us? I mean, do yeah. we keep right. the fart mic? <laughs> yeah, we, you definitely should keep the fart yeah? mic. You know, any other, okay. like, any advice for us? <sighs> don't, I, I, you know, don't try any harder than you currently are. Okay. Yeah. You know, we don't. We don't need any competition. There's a there's a lot of, uh, um, there's you know. What, how what, hard do you perceive that they're trying? How how, how many <laughs> how many um, hours a video are uploaded every second or something, and it's increasing every single day. And damn, are you doing you're doing your uh, your yeah. show every day. Is it five uh, days a week? It's yeah, five days a Monday week. Monday through Friday. We have like a Jeez. recap show on. And how long Saturday. is that show? The Monday through Friday show, like ten to fifteen minutes. Oh okay. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we just eat a lot of stuff. I mean, it's oh, like, that's not, that's not what the show is intended to be. It's supposed yeah. to be like a creative expression of our, the conversational nature of our friendship. But yeah, we just eat a lot of uh, uh, variously prepared animal testicles. Right, eat a lot of yeah. testicles. I know, you guys. I don't know we what got, happened. We, we got to step into this space. I don't you, know what happened. You eat a lot. That's my advice. Yeah. Do eat you a lot, talk about. Eat balls. Oh eat yeah. Balls. Do you talk about browning? You guys eat, but what about yeah? What brown, is all that brown food, stuff? All the chocolate that comes out of the backside. Oh, what, yeah. Let's talk about that. Do you, does it? Does eating crazy food make no. crazy browns? No. Uh, only if only when you do like the hottest pepper in the world, which we've done yes. at two different times when it was two the different hottest. times. Well, when you know, they keep releasing new ones. We're not doing the latest one, which is like Pepper X or something. What, how horrible was that experience? Well, it, it, interestingly, the second hottest pepper in the world, top five, I don't know what it is. Not like we, so we did a straight up, uh, uh, what, uh, ghost pepper when it was the hottest one. Yeah. Horrible experience while it was happening. Horrible experience for like the next 12 hours or so. 12 especially, hours. Especially for <gasps> Ling. Ling, he was like. Really? Like 12 hours later, he was like still well, in the, the fetal position. That's the Carolina position. Reaper. So the second one we did, the Carolina Reaper was the world's hottest pepper. And we said, okay, we're going to set a timer. I mean, all this was on camera. So we wanted to make sure that the whole experience was captured. So we didn't oh. add anything out. We said, we're going to set a timer for 10 minutes. We're going to eat the whole pepper. And then we're not going to consume anything you're not gonna drink or eat anything else we're just gonna ride it out and so uh Rhett had this impulse to start destroying the set like just it became physically violent but yeah. it was very funny and um it was you can see the fear in our eyes at cer- at a certain point when i mean we took the precautions like we had gloves and you know because you don't want to touch your eyes or yeah. anything like that but uh, we were still crying, and I, I haven't watched it back because I just don't. And you were miserable. Seen clips of it for twelve hours. Well, 
on and off. It's I like mean, something shifts in after your stomach. After 10 hours, Oof. things get, I mean, it, you know. What'd you eat before you ate The it? head experience goes away. Bananas. Uh, well, I, oh. so I was a little better prepared. I ate a bunch of bananas and like some bread. Yeah, yeah. But I don't love bananas. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't go as far. So what happens on the way out though? Is it that well, miserable again? On yeah, the, the, the Probably thing is. Probably at least twice. Yeah. 11 o'clock that we, we filmed that morning, 11 o'clock that night, we were filming something else. And in between takes, I would lay down in the fetal position and it, you know, I think the way my stomach works is that oh. it's, it does like a major turn every, it's not constant, but like I could tell that something happened every 10 or 15 minutes. There would oh. be like, everything got turned over and it exposed all this heat to my stomach There was a new part lining. of your system that was getting exposed to that yeah. oil, that pepper oil. It was very, oh. it was very bad. Terrible. And um, no, and then when it, I mean, on the way out, it's like, it's hot. It, it's yeah. hot. Penis. And then it, yeah. And then it starts. It's the same thing that happens when it's going down. It's like, am I going to be able to take this? And you start questioning if you're get, like, what, the worst part when it was going down was my throat. And I thought. It could kill you probably. Am I going like, yeah, to have to tap out? Are we going to have to like call somebody? Because we didn't. This is before we had like a medic. We have a medic. Well, what we don't yeah. we, we currently don't have a medic. What happened to that? Medic? We had a medic for we a, a while. medic for a while. We, we just had, realized we don't we had have a, one all uh, the time. Oh, but now we've got a lot of a lot of our employees are like C, a CPR trained. But you had a medic for whatever you were doing. Uh, for the, for we the had, show, we had yeah. a medic for the Whoa. show. Yeah, <laughs> YouTube funded our show uh, a few seasons back, and we made it even longer. So instead of fifteen minutes, it was a half hour every day. Mm -hmm. We did that for a stint, and because as part of their funding of it, there was a medic on set. Right. And then when that funding funding went away, we went back to 15 minutes. Uh, the medic also went away. Yeah, that's true. Jesus. So, and now we're realizing but just that's, now that but the that's medic the, went that's away. the question you have is like, am, am I going to be one of those people that has that has to go to the hospital because of this? And then it kind of feels the same way on the way out. But not like I'm going to have to go to the hospital, but like can I, can I do this? And it happened. And then it happened for me. It usually happens twice. It was, it's funny because we were it really depends on your anal prolapse or whatever that was. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send you the link to that one. Okay. You got to see that one. <laughs> we, we, we ate the world's hottest curry. Uh, so what are you guys doing? So Sh Sean Evans, uh, the hot ones. Yes. Guy, we had he was him here last on. Week. Yeah. He's great. So we, the first time we were on, we were on hot ones like last year, but the year before that we went to New York and we, they were doing, they were on break for the season. So he's doing these like little one-off videos. Yeah. So we went to, He's the best, man. Yeah, yeah he's good great. guy. Uh, Brick Lane, I think, uh, Curry in New York, which is named after Brick Lane in London, which has got like the, all the curry places. Anyway, the guys who make the curry there wear gas masks while they're <gasps> making this one Whoa. hottest curry in the world. And we played a game where if you got it wrong, you had to take a bite of this curry. That was bad. I got two, oh. two wrong. You got four wrong. Yeah. But for some reason, so we were out to dinner with our wives <sighs> that night. Maybe four hours later. Fine. And, uh, Ooh. I ended up Rhett left the table, leaving the table, and he never. And I was like, I realized, I was like, oh, now we're eating dessert and stuff. And like, he <laughs> oh, never came back, and I was God. like, and then I'll, he comes back to the table, and he was like, he looked, he looked horrible. He's walking funny. Yeah. And he yeah. was like, he looked at me, and he just said, "You're gonna have a rough night." <laughs> oh. He knew it just hadn't hit me yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm, I did. I'm assuming it's not solid at that point either, right? No, no, no. no, no Seven. No. You want it just. Yeah. Right out, but it doesn't. Oh, damn. Yeah. We don't do that anymore. Yeah, we, so we, we've kind of gotten to the place where it's like, because the last time we did a hot thing, it was a charity thing, and uh, I ate a Trinidad scorpion pepper, and it was one of the, I got, it got so bad that I was no longer entertaining. You know, it's like yeah. it got to a place where I was just, I was mad that we had made the decision to do it. Yeah. And at that point, I was <laughs> like, I can't, there's no bit here. I can't find a way to make this funny. And it wasn't hurting me as, as bad. I mean, you get a different pepper, you never know. It, it was horrible. So we, I, I, I was like, I, I like to think that I was again. still entertaining. Yeah. yeah. But you were, you were very angry, and the, which the, was funny. And the, uh, the hottest one in the world before the uh, Carolina Reaper, Carolina Reaper is like 2 million Scoville units. The Pepper X was the same guy. There's some guy in North Carolina, Ed something, Crazy Ed or something like that. And he, exactly. and he breeds, cross breeds these peppers. He's what? like in the mountains. What the hell? But and who's actually eating these? Well, these pepperhead people. Regularly. I guess us. And he, this new one, Pepper X, is like 3 million Scoville units. And at that Come point, on, like, man. No. That's like, that's like taking like bear spray and like spraying it into your mouth. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like who's eating these with their dinner? I mean, is that... 
it's just, just all it's novelty. a gimmick. It's yeah. A total so gimmick. are you guys in a? Di- are you because okay? You got the the books coming out, the novel. <sighs> you're touring, doing live shows. We're both doing Nashville. Yeah. You uh, you have the the show five days a week, and you're also developing. Do you also continually uh, write and shoot like just uh, sketch type videos too? That we're so we're taking all those that whole part of our like creative brain is just into development right now. I got so you. we just, there's no way we just got too many things going on. We can't try that on YouTube and also try to make it happen elsewhere. So, cause it's already too, too much. Yeah. It's a lot <laughs> as it is. Now, speaking of Browns, I have a, would you rather for you okay. guys? It's kind of a game we like to play on this show mm-hmm. being that you're foodies and brownies. Here okay. we go. <laughs> would you rather for one year, all you can eat is Taco Bell. Now, by this, I mean three meals a day. Okay. Any items on the menu. You okay. can mix and match. You can right. take tacos apart, make them in the omelet, whatever the heck, right? Yeah, For yeah. one year. Well, they don't have eggs. You can't make it in the omelet. Well, they I think do have they have breakfast the items now. They got breakfast stuff. Oh, they got yeah. them. Okay. okay. Josh Potter, I believe, eats their uh, breakfasts All there. right. All right. Um, you, like I said, you can mix and match, but it's three meals a day at Taco Bell. Mm. And you have easy browns. I'm talking... Fours and fives, gliders, easy, easy. Okay, wow. Like you're okay. healthy. You're, they're healthy yeah, browns. I like that. I didn't well, know what you meant when you said sevens, but you have a those rating are sloppy. System. That's the Bristol stool chart. Yeah, it's so a it's medical a, chart. It's a medical chart. Oh, so a one is like a rock, and a seven is just water. Like the Valdez. <laughs> you want threes and fours. Oh, so it's a scale of one to seven. I one like seven. fours and fives. I, am I five, five, five is getting kind of loose? But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I like yeah. a five. Four is just easy glider. peasy. Right. Yeah. So you're healthy. Yeah. Right. Or you may eat anything you want for an entire year, but every brown, it's a disaster. It's like your pepper brown. It's like what you had the day of the curry. That's every day. That's what you're doing. This is, this is, but this you can is eat odd you because, you know, the, the bell has the reputation of, of just tearing you up. Right. right. That's what makes it a great, so now would, you're, you ra- would you rather? But it seems obvious if you if you love Taco Bell, I mean, it's all <laughs> that you would choose that. But for is a it, year, is that you, is that you? Are you saying that that's who you are? No, I don't. I don't hate Taco Bell, which you oftentimes, would. oftentimes I prefer to I refer to Taco Bell as potential sponsor Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I'm like, yeah, that's true. Okay. So I don't I don't hate it, but I don't love it yet. But I right. mean, the needle could be moved. In either direction. Well, just be careful if you choose a corporate sponsorship. We had McDonald's sponsor this show, and they gave, they took their money back. But plug cuz. <laughs> yeah. But plug cuz. We content. played them on our. Oh. Yeah, it's a long story. Video. Yeah. But um, I would take the second scenario. Eat anything I want. But then messy browns. Here's why. Go because ahead. I have a bidet at my house. <gasps> so do we. The We're Toto. Big. A uh, wash letter, a proper bidet. Mine is not no, because you you've got the Toto. You got no. Mine I, is just the my, one that I just mine's my the wife American got it. Standard. It just put it on. It's not the whole toilet. You know, it's just the right. The, it's a wash let. It's yeah. a mount basically. Yeah. Right? So and it's I don't know what brand it is, but wow. uh, it's revolutionary as you already know. Mm. Yeah. And I would just be like, I got to get one at work. I got it. I got oh, it. Yeah. Nowhere. If you I feel know like a real savage at, without it. Now. If there's probably <laughs> there should be like an app. Where's the nearest bidet? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. As long as I can wash it, I yeah. would be willing to go through the hell that would be those. The pain. Yeah. Um, how, how okay. this is a stupid question. No how gross thing. do you guys get on this show? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I haven't already figured that out. I, th- I, think, I think you have figured it out. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot grosser than this. Is yeah. the answer. We've been taking it easy on you. We're, yeah. We've There's been a question I've been wanting to guys. ask in private, but no. I'll just ask it to you guys in Go public. Go ahead yeah, yeah. now. Okay. Um, she doesn't eat my scrum. Is that what you're going to ask? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about, okay. the, it's about the bidet. So yeah, so yeah. I got the fancy schmancy yeah. new toilet that like y'all walk up to it and it, it, it opens for yeah. me. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just beckons. It doesn't speak, but it, I mean it, it changes it's color uh, on the inside. And it goes, yeah, Shh. yeah, that, yeah. It's not a Toto. It's it's an American standard, but it's like okay, maybe it's not as it's it's got all that stuff. Okay, but with the with the bidet stream, there's like a there's an aggressive stream, yes. and then there, there's an aggressive wash, and there's like a normal wash, and then if you hit the button twice, yeah, yes, it'll it'll do like a 
one of these, like oh. a massage pattern. Uh-huh. Wow. So it'll be like a, a water wiping pattern. Yep. Wow. But if you don't, if you hit it, if you hit the strong stream once, it's going to just really, it's going to really rock it. I like to ride that. Mm-hmm. And, I like to ride that. Me too. Yeah. That, you build up a tolerance. You really it do. Will, um, at that point, it's, if, you, if you line everything up properly, it's an enema. Oh, wow. You can really let it. It, it, but the the water would have Enter. to be v- Look, like my a hose. Ass looks like the top of Red's head right there. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> it's just hair. It's, it's, it's just got, hair. It's got a lot to work. Yes, yeah, so I just I'm just fucking fire hose that. <laughs> oh. I let it run a full cycle, goes off on its own, and I Are just you hit serious? it again. Yeah. I don't even check what's there. I'm just like, I know it's a mess. Just go. <laughs> Do you, but you, but use you can't the dryer? Work. But what my sometimes qu- hold the on, I didn't get to overrated. ask my question. My question right, is. Okay, you kind of answered it, but can you, you you can use it basically to like get it in there. Oh, it like, can go in there. It can go in there yeah. and like like an enema. Well, sometimes you want to. You well, can. Well, now here's the thing. Your your B-hole is a very theoretically tight hole, right? You, you can loosen it. You sure can. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> do you, but when you're fire hosing your bum, do yeah. you find that the water goes inside sometimes. your butthole? Sometimes, you're but you kidding. know, you can, you can, you know, you can maneuver and position yeah. yourself. You can and relax. Like, yeah. You can, you can edge it oh, off. Wow. Yeah. You can kind yeah. of lean. That's yeah. advanced. That's very yeah. advanced. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't do I, any of that. That's like no. six to eight months in. <laughs> but, that, but you're I right. Think I'm I, the most advanced then because I, think I don't so. use a dryer that much though. Like you're No, I don't dry. Right. No, no. So what are you saying? What's your technique? You just spread, relax, and spread. and aim, and just position yourself, and then it'll you get in kind of an internal, an internal thorough, wash, a but thorough. Situation. You like getting in there for real. You like to get in, but do you do a double tap? So it's That's like a, a single hard tap. So it's single. one. It's one. Ours is the stream. other way. Ours is the Ours other way. Is double single tap. Single is the light stream. Double up. Power stream. No, I've got four settings, guys. I got two buttons. Oh, one is light, one's heavy, and then if I hit the heavy one twice, it's gonna like it's gonna undulate. I, I, I know. like we, this. we have an oscillating. This is an oscillating feature. On the, oh, I don't know. They're different you can't companies. Oscillate yeah. it. You know what I mean? It's, I, a, it's got it. The stream has this to thing be, goes like this. The stream can't waggle. What it has about to the like, like the staccato stream? Oh, you mean where it goes like to to like right? I don't like, like that. that. It doesn't move. So right, nothing. The stream but doesn't the move. But the pressure at all. actually changes on it, right? It yeah. goes. On, off, on, off like that? Pulsating. Uh, pulsating is the right word. Yeah, pulsating. No, mine doesn't do that. Does it? it oh, you it, need it, to step it up. I've, I've seen the subscriber it. list. You need to step it all up. Right, you have right. money. <laughs> now it's a warm stream. I'll have them beside each other. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get rid of mine. Don't get rid of no. it. I'm just going to add another two. one. That's balling right there. Like, yeah. I got two watches. <laughs> Different companies. And I will use them both at once. <laughs> I don't know how yet. But you I have love a, it. It's a I warm stream though, right? You don't do cold water. Oh, it's hot. It's got to be warm. Yeah, it's got to be warm. I mean, I think that's why I'm choosing Taco Bell because e- oh, e- even, wow. with, even with all After this apparatus, wow, you don't want. I mean, you don't want to have. You don't want to. If you're constantly decimated down there, then that's uh, that affects everything. Yeah. I mean, it's just washing it off. Not going to make it better. You're going to have. Yeah. Diagnosable problems. And if you're well, mm, yeah. But if you're at the like the zoo or something like that too, you know, the that, zoo. Uh, that would be that'd be trouble. Uh, you're saying the public dumps would be problematic. Yeah, You'd have to plan that, your day. Because I mean, that's it, and it affects you. Yeah. Like w- mm. once you've had the bidet. No, yeah. And then you're yeah. you're at a restaurant. Yeah. You know, and you're like they don't. You know, they don't. You're, it's like an animal. Like you can't you can't shit like an animal anymore. Right. Now, look, consider this though. As much as I love Taco Bell, um, nutritionally, you might be deprived after one year of eating it. Three times a day, you. you uh, I that, don't know. I think you probably get. You know, I think you probably get it. I mean, there's so your nutrients. So many. Hmm. I mean, it all tastes the same eventually. Uh, it, essentially, because it's just kind of rearranged in different ways. Yes, but, I the mean, same five ingredients essentially but rearranged. You got beans. Beans alone. True. Go a long way. True. Cheese. You got your dairy, lettuce. Yeah. You got your sour cream. Tomatoes are considered a fruit. Yeah. All right. Don't eat those though. You don't eat tomatoes. No. But Do you eat tomato sauce? Yeah. Okay, thank God. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Pizza? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. But not raw Just tomatoes. raw. He was recently... I don't blame um, him. Has that come out yet? I don't think it's come out yet. Well, he was... We'll just, it was we won't tell what happened, He's but he... a teaser. He, he was hypnotized to, oh. like, to like tomatoes. And? Well, I can't... Oh, you can't, can't, you can't ruin it. 
Well, that's interesting. There's a couple, soon. There's a couple uh, creepy hypnotizers that we're going to get into on a future app with. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, we found these guys that like the first thought you have maybe of like a, a hypnotist can they make people do things and like these guys are straight up creeps. So we're going <laughs> to. Oh, no moral compass. That's yeah, not a good they're, combination. They're, they're weird, weird guys. Hmm. Yeah. But I'm fascinated to see the tomato. Me too. I, I did it. Um, I did the thing in college at like when they. Yeah, yeah. You know, on the, stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you know what was going on? Oh, yeah. You faked was, it? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. For, for what I was doing, yeah. But it started with when he was like, he was trying to see who was going to participate. Yeah. And he's like, and then like you're uh, fall asleep or whatever. And I just dramatically was like, you know. <laughs> Hanging up him. Yeah, of course. But I, I mean, in my head, I was like, that's what everyone's doing, right? Right. So I don't know. I don't, I, Any that's my only it. experience. And then I've seen one of those yeah. shows. Oh, he's a liar. Yeah. yeah. Sociopathic yeah. liar. Uh, okay. Before we, we go, I just want to tell everybody, mythical.com is a like yeah. home base for everything, yep. right? Yep. Mythical.com. There's a good mythical morning, five days a week. Ear Biscuits, which is the podcast, yeah. which is once a week. Yep. Uh, Retin League channel, which I'm, you know, you're not uploading stuff to it right now, so... <laughs> Whatever. Forget it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Red Link Live uh, for tickets to live shows. You guys are doing a bunch of dates. Looks like coming yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're doing uh, like every couple of months we go out and hit like a part of the country and do like, you know, four or five shows. It's awesome, man. You guys are killing it. And the book's coming out. Um, you have uh, Smosh. You have the store. There's just, it's endless. You got development. Jesus Christ, man. Take it yeah. easy. We need to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down and just... Sit on, Do that, it, bros. sit on that bidet That's for longer. Sit on that bidet, dude. Get that second bidet. You deserve it. You <laughs> yeah. earned it. Um, now, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for coming today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks, and, uh, guys. Well, I see you in Nashville. You probably take off the next morning, right? I uh, think. I, I don't know what, think so, what the yeah. schedule is. We'll, yeah, we'll let you know. I think we, we come we, in early, like but stick around. Yeah. I come in the 10th. You, your show's the 9th. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. I hope I yeah. see you. Yeah, man. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll leave you a... A special note. Oh, please oh. do. <laughs> please do. All right. Okay, so I've got a fun video for you. Um, this is for jeans. Good morning, Julia. Are you having fun? Or fun, or fun? fun. Let's go full throttle. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of your mom's house. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a your mom's house video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.